I had some entertainment first. Why? Why is this happening? Hold on, hold on. Is it this right here? What? Okay. Well, this is good. <laughs> oh man, that was fantastic. Expecting to jump off of you, but whatever. Give a second. Um. All right, that yeah. happened. That fucking happened. Damn it, baby. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> um. I'm, I'm underground. No, I mean, like, I know that, but I don't know where you are. There you go. <laughs> that was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Super Mario Sunshine, though. <laughs> Fun. We just got back. Oh, I thought I got crushed. Oh well. Did the title fuck up? It did fuck up, man. The stream is cursed. 
deeply cursed stream. Also, hello, hi, how are you? Um, so today has been an odd day. Um, I woke up at a reasonable hour for me to do my my usual routine. I don't know if I've described it before, but I wake up, I consume the news while grinding some mindless video game off on the side, mostly to make the news more palatable. Um, God damn it. But uh, after the news is, after the news feed is completely caught up, I typically, like, I'll eat something and get straight to streaming. So... I would have been ready to do that roughly six fucking hours ago. But when I turned on my computer... Thank you, Pikachu, for being very excited for me. Um, when I turned on my computer... Um, a fan that I have that is usually pretty much silent... Was suddenly extremely fucking loud. So um, I had to argue with that a bit. Took it out, cleaned it... Uh, like relubed the the little in uh, inner piece because uh, it's it's propelled with magnetism, and this little circular metal bit that's that's got some machine grease on it. Okay, not a problem. Be very easy to do all that. Anyways, it still made a lot of noise, which makes me think it's an electrical component that's actually causing the noise. Anyways, short version is that that fan's dead, but. I say it's dead. It still works. It's just loud now. But uh, that fan is also like four years old. And the funny thing is, is that the rest of the fans are also four years old and they're not making noise, which is interesting. But like, it's, it's an old enough fan to have aged out. So I went ahead and just fucking replaced it, which means I had to wait until... Best Buy opened so I could go snag a Corsair fan from them. And then we got lunch, came home, ate, I installed it. And that's why we're only just now starting. For anyone confused, the time is right there. It is not 6 in the morning like it normally would be. I don't care what the name is, let's do this. Um, you know what I just realized? The wrong memory card was in the console. There it goes. So, upside, it, like, looking at the rest of PS2 backlog for the games I've genuinely never played before, it all looks terrible. Like, all, like pretty much everything that's left looks like it has genuinely, like, I, I, I would be surprised if there's one more decent game in this list. Um, I, I foresee a lot of games getting abandoned within five minutes. Um, now, there's, there's a, a section of the backlog that's labeled in blue, which are games that I've played before, but that I haven't played in a really, really, really long time. Right, so there's a possibility that I'll start playing them and find that I no longer like them. Or start playing them and find that I, I do like them now and didn't used to, you know? Always room for a new opinion because it's been years since I've played most of them. Um, those we're not going to crunch out nearly as fast. Those I'm going to actually try to give like a proper amount of time to. Well, something has been bothering me lately. 
There's been so much activity around Firefly Swamp lately. Something's not right. The insects are frightened and become violent. There's trash scattered around, and I even the insects are frightened. Uh, you're a frog. You're likely to eat them. Ignore this. If something's up in Firefly Swamp, leave it to me. I'll go see what's going on. You stay here, but promise me you won't get kidnapped in this game. Okay, Lily? Yeah. Yeah, everyone knows that girls are pink by default. They wear giant bows and they get kidnapped constantly. Well, that's good. Yeah, I'll be fine as long as there aren't any last minutes. If you know a girl and she's not pink, she might not be a girl and she's probably going to get kidnapped. I, just so you know. Video games, bro. Now load. I'm taking off now, Lily. Okay, I'll wait for you here. Oh, God. Why? The hell? Genuinely, what the hell? No. I'm afraid. Wait, so uh, so this is goes off of that same system. Uh, I hate this kind of control method anyway. Um, we've run into a couple of Frogger games, even that like Zapper, or Wicked Cricket, or whatever the hell it was called, had that same kind of control method where uh, you use the shoulder buttons to turn without jumping. So, uh, yeah, not interested. Not interested in that shit at all. Midway Arcade Treasures 3. Um, that's going to need to be OPL. Man, I'll be honest, I'm real surprised that the game count is starting to actually get low. This is one of those projects where, like, at the beginning of it, it seems like it'll never end. And then in the middle of it, it literally seems like it's always been a thing. Like, there's never been a point in time where you're not doing this. But now we're, like, starting to reach the end. It's weird. It's weird to think that I might soon be free. Oh, also, Viv and I went to uh, Dairy Queen. My burger was decent. It had extra pickles on it. I, I, for one, love the combination of a little bit of dill pickle with, uh, with mustard. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> yeah. Once we're done with all of this, it'll be time to do speedruns. Okay, Hydro Thunder. This might be the only way to play Hydro Thunder on the PS2, now that I think of it. We'll just do that one. Hydro Thunder's a bit of a classic. game choose your track that one sure choose your boat 
Misbehave. Oops, I whiffed. Oops. Oops again. Not sure how to get that one. Man, controlling yourself in this game is so weird. Is there like a jump that I'm not familiar with. God damn it. We did a winning. Yep, Jay. My name is Jay. Are you serious? Do you... Oh, I don't like it. I'm sorry. Choose your trap. Anyways, that's that's enough of that. Compilation game's not my thing. I love how we actually completed a stage in four minutes, though. We got in, saw the menu, completed a stage, moved on. For anyone concerned, that that was J00. <laughs> and, and not J00. Man. <sighs> hey, what's up, Goku? Welcome to the show. I see a loading bar, and it's loading. I mean, if the if the randomizer actually happens, then, um... Yeah, that's gonna be a fresh new hell after, like, once... Honestly, once it drops, I'm gonna kind of forget that I was doing this. High scores. Lord knows I'd want to preserve my Spartan Total Warrior scoreboard. Sparta under siege. Before I ruled, the Roman Empire's invasion of the free world, led by the Emperor Tiberius, mercilessly spread towards our land. We watched helplessly. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and listen to all that. Hell no. That was progressing way too slow, and it was about to say way too many things. Warriors of Sparta. Today, 
Oh, I know why it feels warm as shit in here. Hold on. It's because I'm an idiot. That's why. Yeah, brick falling over. I mean, that tracks because, like, the interface this game has feels super cheap, and, you know, all of Mortal Kombat follows that. Probably not. Flashbang! I was about to say, like, how long are we gonna sit here at the flashbang? Let's see, this game was late 2005. I honestly don't remember when God of War came out, but probably before this, if I was gonna guess. Yeah, earlier the same year. Good. We shall have our battle in the shade. Let's go. Oh no, that was my favorite bell. Triangle is the jump button. What are these physics?
That's... That's good. Sir, could you get off my nuts? Okay. Listen here, whore. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. I'm aware of the mechanic. I've already done it once or twice. Well, I mean, the same thing is true about enemies in, um, Yakuza. Like, every single goon has his own name. That was a embarrassing bomb. Wait, what? What? Uh, uh, sure, okay. Uh, fuck this game. The game is whack. I, I did what it told me to do, so whatever. How dare you follow my instructions, gamer? The very nerve. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> L.A. Rush. I'm fairly certain that this is a racing game. And the title makes me think that because there was... A really, really super ultra trash racing game called San Francisco Rush. Now, the thing that made that game terrible wasn't that the racing game itself was a bad idea or poorly designed so much as it was on the Nintendo 64. 
And the draw distance meant that at, you know, 90 miles an hour, you could see roughly 12 feet in front of you. Uh, which means that you were going to crash. And then it cracked open a flip phone. Now, short little three. Does this mean there were two Stuart Little games before this? Or is this based on the third movie? Is there a third movie? I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? Let's play the game.
Stuart Little. Little. For media franchise. So, yeah. Um, Stuart Little was in 99. Stuart Little 2 was in 2002. Um, Stuart Little 3, Call of the Wild, 2005. I don't know. I mean, like, Stewart's voiced by Michael J. Fox. He's not a throwaway actor at all. And I think Hugh Laurie. Yeah, Hugh Laurie is in it. No, yeah, this is not, like, these are not, like, throwaway movies. But apparently there is... On October 3rd, 2023, it was announced an animated series reboot of Stuart Little is currently in the works at Sony Pictures Television Kids. Yo, what's up, Technique? Um, no, doesn't look like it. What in the hell am I looking at? It... Is this really a Tony Hawk Pro Skater ripoff game? You you're kidding me. I'm I'm pretty sure that there is a cartoon. Like that part that part I am not uh contesting. I wouldn't be surprised at all if there was a cartoon. But I'm pretty sure that all three of the movies are just actual movies. Oh, we don't need that at all. Look, if I wanted progressive scan, I would just bring up the OSSC. I wouldn't mess around with in-game options for it. Yahoo! Okay, let's suffer. Yo, Technique, you, you missed some true suffering. That last game, like, bombarded us with horrible sounds. L.A. Rush. I'm gonna get in trouble for this cutscene, aren't I? All these fucking video games are trying to do is get me in trouble. It's not so much like potential entertainment so much as it's potential landmines everywhere. By the way, I somehow didn't find the vibration option. That's good. Now, to 
We're out in daylight. There's no reason to have the flash on. I'm not controlling this. This makes me sad because I'm an actual photographer. This is a bird eating from one of those hanging food things in the garden. You know, I tried some of that stuff once. Too much like health food for me. To help you even more, this is your radar indicator. When you get a new hint, get out of here. So the next game has a really, really clever title. Um, I've never heard of such a unique title. It's called The Warriors. Yeah, 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 whatever. Don't be mad just because uh, you couldn't come up with such a clever title as the warriors this one is actually okay we'll see i'll be the judge of that you can't sate my crotchety old man attitude with just any old game need history and don't care if it was based on something else fuck off like look see i don't i don't mind comments like that in movies or video games when it's like it's sort of like the same kind of rule that I have when it comes to voiceover work, right? I don't mind, like, if I was to land a role where I have to be, like, a bigoted, racist, horrible person, I can, I can square that away. That's fine. Someone has to be the villain. But I'm only okay with playing that role if the content that role is in is making it clear... This person's a horrible piece of shit. And these are things that a horrible piece of shit does and says. You see what I'm saying? Like, if if I'm playing a person that's homophobic, and in the content, they're not making it clear that homophobia is bad, horrible shit behavior, I'm not going to do that role. Anyway, so, Shadow of Rome. The same thing, like, I don't know what kind of like setting they were trying to go with that but i don't they didn't need that they didn't need that especially in the fucking intro yeah they still didn't need that line whether it was based on the movie or not so I'm aware of this game, and if 
if memory serves, this has, like, stealth sections and shit in it. So I'm probably not going to want to play it. <laughs> Well, someone I used to be romantically involved with uh, told me that I would that that she thought that I would really like this game. Um, but suffice it to say, she and I are no longer on talking terms, and uh, I didn't think she was going to be correct at the time. It was then that a great man appeared and changed the fate of Rome. Julius Caesar, a most celebrated hero but we'll see. had ever seen. One after another, disturbances were squelched and discontent alleviated under his competent dominion. With the rule of Julius Caesar, all who inhabited Rome waited hopefully for the coming of the Pax Romana, or Peace of Rome. But it was not to last. Despite her citizens' wishes, Rome was once again sucked into the vortex of violence and destruction. <laughs> Blah. You know, Dead Rising is one of those games where I enjoy that game. I I I I, I like it quite a bunch. But I'm not sure if it's because it's a good game or if it's just because it's goofy as hell. Like, it's definitely an odd experience, right? I mean, I like it. I like Dead Rising 1 and 2. Uh, I have off the record. Like, for, I, I know that a lot of people prefer off the record. I, I prefer Dead Rising 2, uh, the normal one. But, uh, I, I don't know, a lot of people talk a lot of mad shit about, why would it do this? God damn it. A lot of people talk a lot of mad shit about the third game, and the only thing that I can say about the third game, like, I didn't like my time with it, but I don't think it's because of the third game being bad. I think it's because I just... I don't have the patience in me anymore to learn that big ass map. Whereas, like, I know what it's what it was like to try to learn the maps on Dead Rising One and Two. I like, man, Dead Rising Three. I look at that big ass map and I think, fuck me, there's just so much here. And I do like watching me, uh, some Dead Rising 3, uh, speedruns. Like, Dysis used to do those runs. They're pretty fun to watch.
I mean, the the only objective complaint that I've seen about Dead Rising 3 was that they give you this big city to drive around in, and the the later you get into the game, the more they, like, the more they make it a pain in the ass to drive around in it. As, like, roads get destroyed, bridges get blocked, etc., etc., But like every every other complaint that I've seen about it feels subjective, really more than like objective. But like uh, like subjectively to me, I just didn't want to memorize that big ass city. That's really all it was. I just I shied away from it because I didn't want to put in the effort. Yeah, that and see that is a legitimate that is a legitimate like objective complaint. Like why would you give me these tools and then like do everything that you can to make me not want to use them? Is there anything else in here? Yeah, punch that fucking door. Get shit on, door. Whatever. Okay, nice targeting. I... <laughs> You've watched almost all of them? Damn. Where is... Any... Nothing? Okay. Well, whatever. Yeah, that last god hand stream wasn't great, but it could be worse. Get shit on.
Anybody else in here? No. Okay. Let's go. The combat seems kind of okay. I don't want to kill them. I want to kill you. You deserve it. Why? Yeah, get shit on. Somebody's messaging me. Why are you messaging me? Ah, Rui. Rui is having to, uh... Learn uh, things about being a speedrun moderator. Do I really have to kill these guys that are unarmed? I don't like this. Meh. I don't want game that makes me feel like a fucking piece of shit. Here are these mans that you have to murder that are unarmed. Why? Eh, you know, because I said so. That Trapped game had kind of a similar thing going on, where, like, right at the beginning, it was like, you were framed for murder, more or less, and then somebody accuse, accuses you of having the fiend's arm, which I guess is, a I don't know, a, the taint of some kind of demon... And then afterwards, you do have the, the the fiend's arm, and then immediately you murder somebody that's just trying to help you. Okay. Excellent video game. I did. I said somebody would show up and say, finally, and then you did. I, I am good at predicting things. That wasn't a very good God Hen stream, though. There was a, there was a lot of problems. I mean, mostly just the fact that I'm rusty, and I'm gonna continue being rusty because I'm still doing this. Let's see, Jack X Combat Racing. That did not want to load, but unless it did, the hell. Okay. Curious. Yeah, I mean, there's there's nobody else throwing down TBH. It'd be really, really, really nice if there were people to compete with. Again, like if if the uh, if the randomizer actually ever gets finished, then I like I said like I've said before, I'm really hoping that that will drive like like participation. Like I don't even necessarily hope for it to make a whole lot of people get interested in getting really really good. So I'm hoping we that. People will just be willing to enjoy the game together. So yeah, Yakuza One on on uh, when loading from the hard drive, you need to to launch it on OPL and you need to set its loading speed to the lowest possible setting. Otherwise, what happens is if you get in it, if you use one of the taxis, what happens is it is it fades out 
while it's loading the other area, and when it finishes loading the other area, it fades back in. But if it loads too fast, what happens is it'll finish loading before it's faded out, and then it'll never fade back in. Even worse, if you have vibration turned on, it will vibrate forever. What do I mean by randomizer? So, um, a random the randomizer, the idea for God Hand is that it will just randomize what enemies are where. So, like, like all the enemies will be will be in the same places, but it'll be different enemies. So, like, when you start the game and there's the the guy, the the brown guy on the left and the green guy on the right. Um, imagine if instead one of those was. I don't know, one of the robot women and the other guy is was the bone claw guy. Right off the bat. That's what the randomizer would do is stuff like that. Like based on what seed you select, it would it would re-roll all of the enemies into being a different enemies. And by the way, I think that that was a licensed track. <laughs> well, the the person I have working on the randomizer is the same person who made that mod. Um, I have said before, like, like, look, that mod is bad. And that mod is bad because Roni doesn't understand the game well enough to make a mod like that and have it actually come out well designed. But, like, the there is still an impressive part. And this is where Roni deserves respect. That person and whoever he was working with, like, pushed until they found a way to change the game. And that's impressive. What's more is that they did enough work to modify the entire adventure. That's extremely uh, impressive. And so that's why, even though I thought the mod he made was bad, and I do, I do think Angra's Revenge is a bad mod. Having said that, he's the only one that I know of that went through the work of modifying the game to that extent. So that's why I uh, offered them money. I offered them 500 US dollars to, uh, to make the randomizer, and... They messaged recently saying that it was almost done. So if if it does get finished and then it, like like honest to god if it drops tomorrow, I'm going to totally forget about backlog. <laughs> I'm going to be all over god hands nuts playing the randomizer. Yeah, this is probably that, more or less. Oh, yo, what's up, Karamu? Feels like it's been a while, homie. Nope, we don't need that. Yeah, I mostly just shave my head when my hair starts to uh, annoy me.
Let's get this over with and blow this bird. Who called us here anyway? Yeah, I know that life's been hard on you lately. Hope that things start easing up a bit. Reproduced? Ew. Can you imagine what that tub of jelly must look like? Thank you for coming to Crass City. It looks like some didn't make it. Ah, well. I'm Rainy. Before father died, his wishes were simple. To have his will played for his closest associates. And for us to drink to his passing. This special vintage... Oh, very great. ...post his death. Here's to old friends and to father's untimely death. Yeah. So without further delay, his message to us. Hello, nearly friends. Mostly enemies. If you're listening to this message, then I must be dead. Oh, well. As you all know, I loved racing yours as much as I loved weapons. Alas, I never fulfilled my living dream of winning the Glad race. to hear it. The Crass City Grand Championship, but even in death, I will field the greatest racing team ever assembled and win the biggest race on the planet. You are the best of the best, and you will race for me. Never Forget it. I expect you're all riled up by now, so let me tell you why you will race, and you will win. You all win this plan. You just give a touching toast in my honor. Sorry to say, but I put poison in that special vintage. I don't smoke here, Mary. Father! This is when Rain probably gets upset. Sorry, dear. Bruh. To smell that deep poison, or you'll already be dead. You have just enough time to finish this year's racing season. If you race for me and win, my associates will provide you each with an antidote to the poison. Simple, eh? What the hell did you do to us? Please, I, I didn't know. I drank it too. Father never did play favorites. Yeah? Well, your father's crazy. We're all crazy for coming here! I think she's telling the truth. Well, it's been one minute, so I figured by now you're all arguing about how to get out of this mess. Why am I just Yeah, it's a little cartoonier even than, like, some of the Borderlands guns. Next time you invite me to one of your little parties, shout! We can do this. We can race. And we can beat Crew at his own game. Father bought us the best mobile racing garage money can buy, and each of you has a racing car waiting. We're in this together, so let's get to it. Look at a nice chunk of change. Yo, that's always a good way to go. Out on the track, and I'll go over the basics. Hit the gas, Jack. Brakes are there when you feel the urge, but knowing you, they won't be the first thing on your mind. Hit the brakes, Jack. Holding down the brake will stop your racer and put it into reverse. Hit reverse, Jack. Good. Feel the controls? Your racer has great steering response. And trust me, you'll need it for some of the more challenging courses. Green Eco powers your vehicle's damage control. When you pick up Green Eco, you repair damage on your vehicle. Mm hmm. Not bad. You finished your first training. Get ready for the next round. <sighs> Feels nice to be back in the saddle, huh, Jack? Okay, take the vehicle out for a spin and let's see what you've got. Pick up some blue eco. Watch your turbo meter for how much juice you've got in the tank and use it when you really want to burn up the tank. Really not a fan of tutorials that are like, start, stop, start, stop. Start! Stop again! Use it, Jack, and drop the hammer. Oh yeah, now that's speed. Trust me, you'll need it. This voiceover is uh kind of obnoxious as well. But yeah, Technique, if you're still around, like, if if you or your homies have, like, any issues with uh, setting up hard drive loading for PlayStation 2, like, literally anyone here, if you want help with that, just let me know. I know way too fucking much about this. And I may as well pass that knowledge on to others. You 
can use the e-brake to get into a power slide on turns. You'll need to use power slides to get around aggressive corners. Try getting into a slide, Jack. Now hold the brake down, turn, and hang on! Power sliding and hang time add to your turbo meter. Try that again, Jack. Uh, okay. This area sucks for this training, by the way. This area sucks a bunch for this training, by the way. God, this area sucks so much for this fucking training. Anyway. So the next game up is called Zathura. <laughs> Gotta love it when the next <laughs> the next response is oh god. Jimmy Carr, PS2 legend. Wait, what? What? <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say right there. But yeah, I've also recently been helping DeCosmic set up uh, his PS2 hard drive setup. The dude, um, he and a, uh, another person are routing death by degrees for for ps2 uh for speed running and it like on top of being a horrible horrible video game and i don't know why the hell he's spending his time on it it also has like egregiously long loads and shitloads of them so uh yeah i can see why he was interested <laughs> it doesn't even really look like nina williams like I guess the 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 body type looks Nina Williams ish. Is this Universal? No, it's Columbia. My brain's like only half paying attention to it. Um, but no, yeah, Death by Degrees is bad. I have not. I I am not a Zotharan. But I can tell you that every game that's had this particular intro has sucked nuts. Okay, this is where I break some hearts. I've also never seen Jumanji. I wanted to once upon a time, but it, I, it just never happened. Oh, well, okay. You gotta love it when they start off with a default name and when you enter something it doesn't, like... And who cares? I don't care what the name is. Who care? Who could care less? Well, let's start that adventure. See you, Dad. Bye. Have a way, loser. Hey, Dad said you had to be nice to me when you was at work. Yeah, don't be a dipshit, dickless. Yeah, right. Do it yourself and watching TV. 
I don't know how. Neither do I. Leave me alone. What do you know how to make? Uh, water? But I'm hungry. So, what do you want me to do about it? I'm your brother. You're supposed to take care of me. If you weren't such a baby, you'd do things for yourself. I'm not a baby. baby this kid baby. doesn't know how to make You're anything but water. Baby, baby, baby. No, I'm not. Fucking useless. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm gonna kill you. This is a hell of an intro. So the movie starts off with Walter being a twat. Got it. <laughs> Intro to movie. You so you know how kids are assholes. <laughs> they talk a lot of shit and assault each other. Yeah. Let's just have the entire intro be that. Oh my god, this is some jank ass frame rate. Wow! <laughs> Why is this gap here? Yeah, I ain't scared of no ghost. Yeah, target that fucking box. I, uh, oh. What is this fucking music, dude? Hey, dickhead, I found a board game. You're mean. You're a midget. Check out what I found in the basement. It looks old and dumb. I like it. You would, it's for babies. First one to the Black Planet win, I guess. Will you play with me? Uh, no. Nice quick reactions, boys.
I don't. What button does it want out of me? Okay, cool. Dad's gonna kill us. Just sand the floor. Wait, really? Um, Walter, I think we're in outer space. Looks like nighttime to me. Uh, I don't think so. Did your bike ever float at night? Danny, what did you do? Nothing. Yeah, right? You had to play that stupid game. It's all your fault. My fault? Maybe if you'd be nice for a change. You're the one that dropped me in the basement. You're still a butthead. So now what do we do? You started it, you finish it. It's not working anymore. Maybe it's broken. Look out. Let me see. It's probably my turn. Attention all space adventurers. Zathura awaits. Do you have what it takes to navigate the galaxy? It's not for the faint of heart. But once you embark upon your journey, there's no turning back until Zathura is reached. Nah, reach I'm good. Of each game, play again and again for different adventures. Danny, we gotta keep playing. We have to get to Zathura to get back home. I don't want to play anymore. Look what it did to our house. I don't think we have a choice. Do you want to float in space forever? Here, let me try. But see, I'm not in space. You can see the sunlight behind me. Everything is fine. And then meteors start crashing through my apartment. <laughs> Real talk, if that happened, I think that that would be the most watched clip of all time on Twitch. People will be talking about that shit for fucking decades. Like, yo, you, you know that one time that dude was streaming in the middle of the day and all of a sudden the room he was streaming in just started getting pelted with tiny meteors? The fuck? We recently saw a video that was talking about how, like, this, uh, this, like, she was streaming on Twitch and she was, like, playing, like, ukulele or something. And then a fucking 7.1 earthquake hit <laughs> where she was apparently she kept that a uh, family friend uh, friendly channel and she said fuck twice fuck uh -huh. I can't believe she fucking said fuck. That's fucking stupid. That, okay, fuck. It didn't fucking load. <laughs> wow, Karamu, watch your fucking language. Keep it fucking PG in my fucking chat. Hey! Cut it out. <laughs> uh... God, we're adults. Anyway. Um. Yeah. I would say, like, it's funny to me when there's, like, like, an emergency happens on stream. And people are, like, surprised that the streamer doesn't go offline. Like, okay, real, real talk. If someone were to, like, like, if, if that were to happen, right? If there was, like, suddenly just, like, tiny meteors flying through this room... Or there was a break-in, or a giant earthquake. You think I'm gonna take a second to fucking go offline? No. Nope, this, uh... <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna fucking haul ass. I ain't gonna touch anything. I'm just leaving. Well, I, d I have no proof that you or Athena are adults. I don't know. I'm old. I guess that doesn't necessarily mean I'm an adult. I'm physically an adult. Mentally is a different story.
I'm sure that this game will make some sound eventually, right? Unless it just fails to fucking play. Hold on. <laughs> oh, right, right. Um. <clears throat> We will try one more thing, and if that doesn't work, this is going to go in the technical difficulties pile. Oh god, the next game. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that. But you'll, you'll see it when we get there. Oh no, this one's just straight not playing. No, it's usually quite office, uh, obvious if it's a resolution issue because the first thing that happens on my end is my monitor says out of range, a little like square that just like moves like ye old screensaver style that just has all in all caps out of range. Um, the other thing that's obvious is that typically what happens is we'll be able to hear the game just fine. We just won't be able to see it. Hey, you got that part to happen. I forgot to pause the timer, but who cares, right? It's fine. I thought it was going to just be stuck on the, the loading. So, okay. Is it going to get past this? We're going to get past that? Game experience, online play. Yep, we're going to be playing online. Well, and since since you wanted it, ah, God. I'm not even going to say it. I gotta say, I don't think I've ever seen Shadow being referred to as emo. Edgelord, yeah. Sega's response to Solid Snake, sure. But emo? Interesting. If I'm lucky, this one won't load either. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> After this one, I really should do some uh, memory card management. Bang, bang!
Yes, I'm a wall. I'll sneak in a million faces. Then one by one I fall. Black hearted evil. A brave hearted hero. I am all I am. All I am. God. It's gonna be the best part of this, is this track right here, I promise. You know what we need? Like, fuck Sonic, fuck Shadow, fuck all these other fucking characters. We need a Sonic Universe video game that stars Blaze the Cat. I don't give a fuck about any of the rest of this bullshit. She's fast and she's made out of combat and fire. I love it. Look, Blaze the Cat is the only, like, truly interesting character in this entire universe. The, the Sanic universe, I mean. You know, honestly, as horny as Sega is for fishing games, I'm really, really surprised that they never just made a big The Cat fishing game. Bruh. Two-player game. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, that's what a game like this needs, is multiplayer. Oh no, I see the word fire, and then I see the word festival. This is already going horribly. At least fire wasn't spelled F-Y-R-E. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it, it's a hell of a story. My Maria. I am uh, revealing my age. What was that, Brooks and Dunn? Yeah. What she told you about Fire Festival? Fire Festival was a hell of a thing. Um, short version is con artist uh, puts together a music festival um, that was supposed to be on uh, what was it? The island owned by Pablo Escobar. But, like, the, the one thing that they told him not to do so that he could use the island was shut the fuck up about it being, uh, it, like, affiliated with Pablo Escobar. And the first thing he did was announce that it was Pablo Escobar's island. Um, anyways, the whole thing was a disaster. The whole thing was a scam. Literally, none of the musical acts actually showed up. Uh... The luxury accommodations weren't there. The food wasn't there. Uh, if memory served, people like straight up died.
Gotta love this frame rate. Wait, what am I supposed to do? I don't get it. Uh, whoops, that's not where I wanted to go. But didn't die. Okay. It doesn't really matter. Uh, cause the whole thing is still- was still an extreme shit show, to say the least. I mean, I don't mean to say that it doesn't matter if anybody died. It definitely does, but in terms of how disastrous the whole thing was, it really doesn't matter that much. I punched this man. What is this frame rate, dude? Jesus. Jesus Christ, this frame rate is... Okay, you know what? I don't care what was about to happen. That frame rate is utterly unserviceable. Okay, uh, I don't... I don't know what the hell to expect from this next one. So, um... Fun fact, during GameCube thing, Tapioca did all routes on Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh, which is just madness to me. I, I don't know why you would do that. Uh, I keep trying to remind him that self-harm on stream is a terms of service violation that could get you banned. And the guy keeps self-harming on stream. But then again, here I am doing backlog, so I don't know if I have a, you know, a pedestal from which to judge. But yeah, man, you know what's even funnier is like, okay, the guy that organized Fire Festival went to jail for six years afterwards for, like, wire fraud. Some of which was uh, associated with the Fire Festival and some of it wasn't. Um... But what's more is that he and, I think it was, was it P. Diddy that he, no, it was Ja Rule, I think. Hold on. Yeah, Ja Rule. Who, by the way, I knew was a horrible piece of shit before this. But anyways, they're like banned from the Bahamas entirely now. Um... And then after he got out of jail six years later, the guy announces Fire Festival too. It's like, oh, we'll do it a lot better this time. Bruh. That's a really, really, really deep cutting example of not learning your lesson the first time. The hidden places of Neopia. Some are of the light, but others. I kind of feel like the only people that are going to try to go are going to be the people that just want to see what a shit show it'll be in comparison to the first one. That did not at all look like a fairy. <laughs> it's 
So, I have no idea why the hell there's a Neopets video game. On the PlayStation 2, or on any console. Young me actually really wanted to enjoy uh, the Neopets concept, but that website was extremely bad. Wow, this is some recording quality. Only two, huh? I don't, okay. Um... Okay. Something, something, barn, something, water pump. This thing. Fix it for good this time, or else, god damn it. Why can't I jump on top of this rock? What? Are you shitting me? Wow, um. That's something else.
Sure. Wait, I can jump? Are you sure? Now this is where all the sane people put things like this. So, ferry platformer, objective-based progression, nothing really going on, no interest. Um, I'm sure the next game is going to be a huge improvement. There is a reason why I said uh, I did not foresee any games that were going to take all that long to discard. So... Live split when the title of the game is way too long, it'll like it'll like break it down into single letters parts of it. And so Dora the Explorer got like truncated to DTE, but it looks like it says die. Die Colon Journey to the Purple Planet. Which is apparently where you go when you die. We have multiple Dora the Explorer video games, and for that I apologize. I wonder how long it's going to be until we get one of those scenes where it's like, Do you know where the window is? That's right! <laughs> wow, Laura, Laura. <laughs> Dora's got some leaps. Oh, she, she bounced off a leaf. Oh wow, Gators. Dora could literally die during this? Okay. You can't just crash into a gem and obtain it. That's the beginning of Destroy All Humans. Oh, sorry, we were actually the ghosts from Pac-Man. Oh, 
Well, better call AAA. Oh, no. They're Because of course. Where are Ethan and her rocket ship? Who do we ask for help when we don't know which way to go? Map. I'm the map. Issa and her rocket ship are on top of Tall Mountain. Well, I know how to get to Issa's rocket ship on top of Tall Mountain. First, you have to cross Turtle River. Then you have to get past. Why is the sand stick icky sticky? I am deeply concerned about the condition of the sand. Okay. This is the speed of our movement. A chaos emerald. Dora, you want to tell me why your backyard has fucking Chaos Emeralds all over the place? Whoa! I think a uh, an investigation is in order. Yeah, the Binding of Isaac is in there. Maybe it's Blue Baby. You know, I wonder if they all play like this. Arriba. Oh, whoops. Uh, the the intro video showed me this. It's it's fine. So this is gonna be my next big speed game, guys. I can't put Dora in the river. How very unfortunate. Whoa. Bruh, I, I'd be willing to bet that there's somebody that already speedruns this.
Game's putting me to sleep. This sucks. I am curious, though. Speedrun.com. What do you got for me? Dora the Explorer. They, like, the whole series is listed here. One active... Oh my god. Bro. There's 42 fucking runs on any percent. <laughs> Shut up, Dora. I'm busy. There are 42 runs of any percent. There's no hundred percents though, so that's good, but What 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 is this shit? Hold on. Oh, this is a buddy of mine telling me about, like, a, a, like, I don't know if you guys have heard of the, uh, the shit involving Ubisoft shutting down the crew, but apparently there are some people that are, like, absolutely insane about that shit. Man, that's wild. Anyway, I need to turn that off. Why is the world what it is? Anyway, so the next game up is Gauntlet Seven Sorrows. Now, we've we've played other gauntlets before, and, um, they're not good. <laughs> Again, there is a reason that when I looked forward in the game list, I was like, yeah, all of this is gonna go real quick. I mean, we've been here for two hours, right? We're on game 14. That is a hell of a pace we're keeping. Also, this appears to be the last PS2 game of 2005, at least in this list. Honestly, I guess it really, it is actually kind of surprising because 42 runs and like the world record is still like an hour. It's like an hour and two minutes RTA. I was about to bring up the fact that sometimes it like this speedrunning community will like latch onto a speedrun as a joke. Like I think it was like Barney's Hide and Seek on the Game Boy Adve uh, Advance. I almost said the Game Boy Adventure. Because I know how words work. But, um... Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, why are people like this?
Oh, game spy. This is a story of betrayal and the sorrows it has sown. It is a betrayal Tits. by my own hand. Yes, the betrayal of the four great heroes. They were immortal. Yet they served me, the Emperor. But I and my six trusted advisors attempted to magically steal the hero's immortality by crucifying them to the great tree at the bottom of the world. This horrible deed of betraying them was the first of my seven sorrows and the only one in my power to undo. So I have freed them, my four loyal heroes, the ones whose counsel I should never have dismissed. They must journey through the lands to set right what my betrayal and sorrows have wrought. It is a world made hostile and monstrous through my misdeeds and those of the evil six advisors. The various forms these six have taken now grow stronger as they ravage our world. The heroes must now seek out the six and destroy them all in battle to end the chaos unleashed upon our world. Yeah, my advisors were evil. I'm, oh, I'm almost innocent. It's their fault. I know, Pikachu, you son of a shit. Sure. Oh right, we were supposed to check memory card files like several games ago. But I'm dumb, and I forgot. What in the hell are you? Mega Heracross. Fun fact, I still do not have a Heracross. Is she fast? Character design. I hate it, but if she's fast, gameplay. This was formerly a great city, one the warrior knew as his home. But now, it suffers under the evil plots of the Six, who have spread chaos and destruction to the four corners of the world. Here, men fight for nothing, driven mad by the evil power of the Six. The heroes must fight through this chaos for the sake of their quest. That's good. Glad to hear it. I think. Cheese. Cheese. Plays better than the last ones did. This is some bullshit. Thank you. 
Okay, well, where is this key supposed to go? Good aim. Thanks. Where are you guys even coming from, bruh? Food. Just keep swinging. Just keep swinging. Okay, game is basic. Uh, progresses relatively easily, but I mean, it doesn't really feel. Like, it does feel different from other Gauntlet games, but it doesn't feel different from other, like, basic-ass hack and slashes. By the way, look at that icon of her. Why is her neck massive in that little icon? You see how fucking huge her neck is? That's... That's deeply concerning. Anyways, okay, so I'm gonna refill my drink. <laughs> that's yo what's up to cosmic it is is it is a giraffe neck for sure um i'm gonna take a short break grab a drink and then we're gonna do some memory card management and move on to 25 to life i i don't know what this is never hoid of it prepare your van helsing stories for i will want to hear them when i return uh, I sent that dude flying pretty far. Like, really fucking far. I found it to be very humorous. Cash, I've captured Dr. Langstrom and administered the cure. I need you to prep an isolation chamber. I'm bringing him in. Sure thing. I'll get right on. Good. Yep. 
Yep. <clears throat> as as it as it should be. That's 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 Batman Arkham Knight. Anyway. Um <laughs> You're kidding me. What? <laughs> this is so stupid. I hate this game. Well, there goes one of the big guys. I return. So yeah, how to how that last spat with Val and Helsing go? Oh no, files. That third one looks kind of neat. I decided that I was gonna play that one again. That's taking a second. Oh no, the Dora. Sweet mother of God, 983 kilobytes. Why? It's not the largest file I've seen, but man, that's that's pretty fucking chonky. Actually, what I'm doing right now, this is on the, uh, the, what's it called? Hold on, I have the, the Mem Card Pro 2. That stupid thing with the SD card slot in it. It's, uh, it's not very good. I don't recommend it. In all likelihood, the, the best, like, memory card solution would just be to find one of the 64 meg memory cards 256 god damn that's too many i can't imagine needing that much i think the 64 is is plenty i don't know yeah this doesn't need to be here i don't have See, usually, like, those are OPL files, but I, I don't know why they'd be there. So, like, in fact, this would actually be interesting information for you, Cosmic. Um, if you remember what I told you about 
transferring files over the over like a LAN and how desperately slow it is. Well, another thing about it is that in order to make it work, a lot of the time what you need to do is you need to go into OPL and you need to set a static IP address for your PlayStation 2 so that you can like designate the IP address that you're going to be aiming for with the HCL dump uh, priority. Um, and when you do that, it creates a tiny little, like, one kilobyte file that would be that, like, blue square that's labeled corrupt data. It's not actually corrupt. It's, it is information. But, uh, but, you know, the, the memory card reader doesn't know how to, it doesn't know how to interpret that little file that all it does is, is tell the console what the IP address is. It's silly. It's, like I said, don't do it. Don't do it that way. It's so goddamn slow. Like, who has that kind of fucking time, dude? It is complicated. It's a total pain in the ass. Like, when, once you have the win hit method down, there's no reason to... Did this... I think that this... Yeah, this froze. Once you have the win hit method down, there's really no reason to get all that involved with anything else. Here recently I ran into some like documentation about some other method for dumping games to uh, PlayStation 2 hard drive. And uh, it was it was kind of hilarious to read because like, the first thing, it, it was like, WinHip is bad. You should use my software. My software is better. And then it goes on to do, like, a, a like a list of limitations that WinHip has that this software doesn't. And the very first thing it says is, oh, WinHip's not compatible with BinQ files or DVD9s. Um, no, yeah, I'm going to have to go ahead and refute that claim all the way across the board. Because I've been doing all of Backlog with Winahip, and uh, I, can, I can promise you that it works just fine. Like, so it makes me question, it makes me question the rest of that list of things that Winahip apparently is bad about. Because, like, I can, I can verify the first one is false. I can't verify if the rest of them were true or not. Like, I know that, like, like one of them is that WinHip sometimes breaks ISOs. Now, see, here's the thing. Every so often, I will run into a game that when you try to dump it, it will not designate the correct executable file. Like on Psy Girls, for whatever reason, the file that it auto detects is actually one of the sound audio, uh, one of the sound files. It has nothing to do with the executable whatsoever. I can't get Psy Girls to run at all, but I mean, I don't know. It's something I'm going to argue with later. But it's not the only example of that. Um,. Evil Dead, A Fistful of Boomstick is actually kind of famous for, like, the disc itself is not formatted correctly. So, so, even when you, oh god. So, even when you, um, put it in, into most PlayStation 2s cannot play it properly. Oh, uh, I don't care. Who cares? God damn it. Your years played? See, it depends on what model of PS2 you have. Um, when I dumped it to the hard drive, it does it just like the 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 disc has the problem when you dump it with winhip it doesn't designate a uh, an executable which is fine it's pretty easy to fix you just open up the iso and ultra iso you find the executable and you 
Write it in. I honestly didn't think a fistful of boomstick was bad. It's alright. Dude, every last one of you should be thanking me for not subjecting you to this quote-unquote music. What I'm hearing right now is utterly intolerable. Where is the audio options, actually? Oh my goodness, thank fuck. I'm free! It's always like a, a big shining aspect, like a, a like a wonderful, wonderful feature of a game for me to have to mute it right away. There was another Evil Dead game that I can't remember the name of on PS2 that I thought it also played relatively okay. It wasn't enough to make me like want to play it long term, but it wasn't bad. I felt the same way about Van Helsing, by the way, to Cosmic, because I don't, I don't recall thinking it was bad, I just recalled thinking it wasn't for me. Wait, if you have a cell phone, why did he call your... Whatever, dude. Uh... Nothing says big, strong, confident man like dude who has to sit around with his gun in his hand 24 hours a day. When they sue my brother, it's gonna be flowers and a funeral. What in the goddamn... Uh, do police helicopters even have that? Take two human shields. That sounds like good guy shit to do, right? 
Nah. <laughs> I think we're gonna move on. I've said before, I'm really not a fan of, uh, playing games that make me feel like I'm the asshole. So, we have not had a, a, a good run of Onimusha games so far. Um, so far I haven't liked any of them. I did think that the second one was by far the, the, the most acceptable one, however. Then there was this, like, I don't know, this... It felt like almost like a, like a Power Stone ripoff version of Onimusha. I don't remember what it was called. Anyways, this is a two disc game. I only bothered dumping the first one because I don't I don't foresee needing the second one right now. Is it? Well then let's hope it's different enough to get my attention. And please, mother of God, don't mention Oda Nobunaga. I've had quite enough of that guy. I, I would have very much appreciated this being in Japanese with English subs. I know at least one of the previous ones had Japanese voicing with English text. Because I recall commenting that I appreciated it. I really, really, really appreciated how they did the voiceovers in Neo, where it was like, William doesn't speak Japanese, but he understands what they're saying because of the interference of the spirits. I thought that that was a really cool way to, um, to explain characters that don't speak the same tongue having an understanding. Well, I mean, William isn't in Neo 2 as far as I know, or I mean, if he is in there, he's in, like a, an important character rather than a player character, because in the second game, you start off right away just customizing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know, like I said, I know at least one of them had Japanese voicing with English text. It, I don't remember if it was just default that way or if it was an option. I don't like that guy's character design. Hey! There we fucking go, mate. Screen position, is this shit in the... Okay, why? Why would, like, with the screen position, the, the only thing that really needs to be done it, in this option is to have the mo the furthermost corners illuminated and we go away from a screen where the fur fur where the furthest most corners well except for bottom right three of them are reasonably visible 
to not visible at all. <laughs> That's some fucking bullshit. Anyway, I think we're fine either way. Um... Hey, it's not as stupid as having to beat the game to unlock the English, uh, option. So hold on. I know that this is the same video, because, like, obviously we can tell. But, is it going to be in Japanese now that I've changed the option? There you go. What does this other dude's voice sound like? Okay, that's good enough. Yo, was that Timmy Negru? Was that what that fucking thing is called? Now that I've said it out loud, my brain is like, is that correct? Yeah, that's the that's what my brain was thinking about. Why do you know how to spell that? God, you're such a nerd. What a fucking nerd. But then again, I, I brought it up, so I, I, I have no pedestal from which to judge. <laughs> Look, that's real man shit right there. <laughs> When are you gonna break the 18,000 hour barrier in God Hand? Come on, get to work. Back in the mines! You know what I think about it? I don't even think I have a hundred hours worth of experience in Samurai Western. Likely. I forget how many, because I, I remember at one point, like, trying to figure out, like, how, how much, like, from when the game got released, how much of that per, uh, percent of that time I was playing the game. And turns out it's too many. Too many percent. Um, so yeah... 18,000 hours is 24 hours a day for 750 days. Yeah. <sighs> Yo, so... <clears throat> here recently, we had some, some dude try to revive a dead thread on the Gadget Racers forum. Uh... Where they're asking for ILs, which is something I would probably do if I could do it in a way that makes any sense. So anyways, this, this guy posts a message asking if the idea is dead or if it's ever going to happen, which I wasn't going to respond to. But, uh, Rui responds to it with something, you know, detailed and very sensible. And then I responded with, like, look, 
Like, anyone who's ever speedrun.com, like, here's the thing. If you want a category on a game to exist, the number one thing that you could do is do a run in that category and present the moderators with a run that could already be on the leaderboard. Which is more or less what I said, is like, the, 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 the number one way to get somebody to give a shit is to give them a reason to give a shit. And, uh, after that, the guy just straight deleted his fucking, uh, comment. There it is, X, for some reason. So Rui is, uh, learning that, uh, that rule of SRC where people don't actually give a shit, they just ask for stuff. I think it's really from it's it's really a thing that people are just trying to like do that free world record shit. I'm canceling it. It's a four hit combo, I think. That's the whole thing, but of course it ends in a knockdown, and the third attack is really cumbersome, so I'm just canceling the fast ones. Typical action gamer behavior, come on. He's become angered. And do the whole thing and see how that worked out. Yeah, I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Sounds logical. Oh no, my red dots.
But I wanted to drain the shit. Give me that shit. Let's see if, like, the full... Okay, never mind. Okay, it looks like that cleaves in, in this particular instance. Okay, so canceling it short on the, uh, uh, okay. Canceling it short on the second attack doesn't seem worthy on boss fights. Or at least not on this big dude, it's not. Why are there explosions? Isn't this a giant demon and not a robot? We say that as like a robot would automatically explode too, rather than just like fall over short circuiting. God damn it! Nobunaga Remember, kids, there is one and only one historical figure that has ever existed in Japan that is worth mentioning, apparently. <sighs> Nobunaga is like the fucking LeBron James of Japan. They just won't shut the fuck up about him. Did you know that there are other basketball players that aren't LeBron James? Neither did I, because that's the only person the news fucking talks about. Surely at some time there was another person who dribbles ball and, and shoots basket. I just, I mean, just as a guess. Tenku it's not bad, but it's really not holding my attention much either. The combat so far is, uh, like brain dead. From what it was like saying during that tutorial, like it's got a hard targeting thing where you hold R1. Bruh. But yeah, holding R1 apparently targets mans, but. Tenku 
Yeah, I don't know. It's just me. Nah. Let's just move on. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. <sighs> okay, guys. Um Oh no, like when that comes up, it's gonna be fine because we already know we're gonna load it so we can point and laugh at it and then we're gonna move on. I am not in any way, shape, or form going to hold myself to the standard that I have to experience gameplay of Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Well-known CDI game, A Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Now, if memory serves, my friendo Celestix used to uh, speedrun this, but I could be wrong. I could have the wrong person or even the wrong game. Possibly both. Okay, usually Sega does a pretty good job with the music, but this is bad. Okay, that was pretty bad. It's pretty bad. You thought that was fun? I don't know. I, I hated the fact that we started off like being this innocent person framed of murder, and then immediately we became a person doing murders. Not my jam. Yo, when are you gonna get around to actually working with your new hard drive? Hi, yeah. All you gotta do is not turn it while it's like fucking making stuff. Splash Canyon, yeah, that one. I don't know. Wave the Swallow. I don't know about wanting to have that name. <laughs> what? Well, first you plug it into the PS2, you load up HDL, and you format it. And then next, you fucking, like, connect it to WinHip and put games on it. Whatever. I'll basic bitch this shit and play as Sanic. Oh, 
Sonic, don't do that. I'll do what I want. is saying to me. What do you mean I failed to land correctly? Everything seemed totally fine to me. I'm sure that that voice is supposed to be telling me something. Not sure what in the hell it is, but... somehow winning oops I am probably not winning anymore uh hello okay I don't understand. Okay. Sure. Anyway. Lands perfectly straight. You failed to land correctly. Well, son of a bitch. I used to play a lot of the sequel to that. I don't remember exactly what it was called. Sonic Riders something. I'm sure it has a name. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm probably not going to like it this time through. By the way, the Toka Race Driver series has also been pretty awful so far. Speaking of cocked computer hardware, um, I explained this earlier in the stream, but I may as well explain it again because there's different people present. Um, when I woke up today, I went through to my like usual routine, right? Wake up, um, wake up, catch up with my news feed while eating, and then, uh, or well, while playing a grindy game, then eat and then start stream. Uh, I would have done that, except when I turned on my computer, the game did not load. When I turned on my computer, a fan that normally makes no sound at all was, uh, suddenly really, really fucking loud. So, um, after multiple attempts of making it not be super loud, you know, taking it out, cleaning it, reseating it, 
uh, leveling it out, checking the speed, all, all of the good shit that you would do with a fan. It was still being a noisy bastard, so I concluded that since it was, like, I think it's like four and a half years old, I just went ahead and bought a replacement for 20 bucks, and everything seems totally fine now. Though, speaking of, I should probably open and clean my PlayStation 2 in the near future. By the way, if you're just trying to get a game to launch uh, casually, you
All right, take off, man. Take care of everything. Make sure everyone's good. Give them my best and all that. <sighs> Something tells me this isn't going to be any better. number is this? This is, we're on game 19 for the day. So we keep this pace up. We'll probably, we'll probably get almost like 40 or almost 40 by the end of all of this. Unless something slows us down like an actual good video game. You know what, since, uh... Since we mostly just need these fucking games to run, I'm just gonna do that. Especially since these four games have been having issues running lately. Yeah, 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 we've seen that before. We've seen that before. Let's just, let's start skipping some of these splash screens at least. Yo, those Ford cars look a little, uh, there we go. This one's going to have widescreen in it. Yes, it do. Let's race quickly. D pad works. Nice, so the, uh, there doesn't appear to be any view that takes us a little bit further away from the ass of this car.
Real talk, I just totaled the shit out of this car. This is a pretty fucking generic racer, TBH. I don't know why I would have expected any different. Controls are a bit slippery too. Thank you for being my my uh, my wall stop there, buddy. And GG. My car's all fucked up, but I won. I also don't care. Okay, so the next game up is Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Slash Remix, or whatever the fuck all that is. But, before we do that, I'm going to take a short break, and I will be back. Right after I take this out of widescreen, watch... We're going to load this game up and it's going to take us straight back into widescreen. Anyways, I'll be back. Oh, whoops, I knocked him down and it killed him. <laughs> Perfect. Um, um, are they making a baby car right now? exactly what I wanted to happen right there. This gorilla just utterly failed to notice anything. I mean, I get some. Cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna walk slowly, and we're gonna see. Wow. Hey, hey, bro. How's it going? You doing all right? We're in alert status. Why can't you see me? <laughs> uh. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, there you go. There you go. Good job.
What a fucking boob, man. I I don't even know what to say about that. I like I mean stealth in this game is is very silly. What are you doing? Bruh. Bruh, I need to talk to you. Stop. Okay, I'm going to have to highlight it. Dude, what the fuck was that? You saw it too? Yeah, it was like everything was red and it's like we fell through the map and then everything yeah. was fine. Yeah. Holy shit, hold on. Uh. <laughs> Houston? We have a problem. What's up, nerd? Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, this game! The worst thing is like when you throw a bottle or whatever it is that you have and your target moves around a corner. Uh, if you've locked onto that target, the bottle will actually follow them. The problem with it is is that it'll follow them to the point where that wall will actually be an obstruction when it should not have. Uh, what? shit out. I'm getting shot through the wall. I got this kid. <laughs> Alright. Wow. That is a special kind of getting fucked over. Oh look, I got fucked over so hard that the game needs to reload everything. Two forty five. Where I go? Wait. Huh? Where was Where the fuck am I? Did it did it checkpoint me after that segment? I it... You know what game well played? I don't I like you've succeeded in confusing the shit out of me. I have no idea what's happening. No, it still thinks the oh game is already running. This is weird. Oh my god, what? <laughs> um Okay. Yeah. Okay. According to what I hear, what's your favorite crime? I don't know what just happened. What? What number comes after three when the night falls? I think I found something that restored the river route. 
No! It looks like they were all owned by a Mr. Fine. He seems to have acted as some sort of property broker. When was this? Before Arkham City was built. It's a long shot, I know, but he sold one other property three months before Arkham opened. There's no record of who to. God damn it! What? Fuck this game! Why? What? Well, well. So the shaved monkey has failed. <laughs> Remember that dude that was in here that was like insinuating that this game had no problems? I feel like this game has some fucking problems. Holy shit. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Can't tell you how much I don't like this. Um, cat, um, um. Where the fuck was I? Not Why did you roll back again? <laughs> oh god. That's not what I input. Yeah, I deserved that. But you deserved this. Ah! Stop! Did you see that? Did you see that? It it, it got it, it like just barely missed it. Oh my god, that is hilarious. <laughs> He's sitting there oh like going through all his shit. <laughs> 
Oh my god, it's consistent! What's consistent? <laughs> <laughs> This is my favorite game now. <laughs> this guy's like, why? No! Hey. Look I mean, I just did it. He fucking, like, bounced all over the- Like, look it! He ended up over there because he bounced all over the place. So he didn't bounce that dick. That's actually a song. Bounced on the dick? What? Look at these assholes. What? What? What is that? What is that? What's that? Ah! <laughs> Fall all the way down. No, it deleted. That's unfortunate. Do you yes. Do you? Woo! I'll never get over that. <laughs> Boop. Boop. I don't know where that one went though. Somewhere. Beyond Away. the sea. Oh my god, is Somewhere that where it is? Waiting for me. Maybe. What the shit? Oh my god, I can't even, like, approach it. The, 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 uh, perimeter gun doesn't like it. That's funny. I swear, man, Sugar Ruffs are my favorite enemy in any video game ever. Like, what's happening there is if you freeze one of them, it, like, falls. And if it lands on you while you're driving a vehicle, it just fucking goes ape shit. Why does it do that? I don't know. But it's pretty fucking great. <clears throat> Delicious. But yeah, I'm expecting maybe 35 to 40 games get done today. Again, unless something awesome like a really good video game happens. Alright, so this was a, a dual layer DVD, um, Midnight Club 3. Uh, I Oh, the last two weren't. <clears throat> okay, that did not want to load. <clears throat> Let's see. There's no way that this doesn't have... A proper listing. It just says mode three. Mode three and there is no music. Hmm. According to this, OPL has no trouble at all.
two. There it is. See, you know what the funny thing is? Like, I don't recall having played the first Taito Legends. Like, I don't recall having done it at all. <laughs> Which is funny, because, like, in Streamlog, I actually wrote a little blurb about it. But I don't remember it. Um, I hated that. Don't do that again. these really legends look the only Taito shit that I'm familiar with that's Pocky and Rocky the only Taito shit that I'm familiar with at all really is fucking bust a move and I'm not seeing that shit at all Some of these games kind of look like the kind of shit that I would never admit having worked on if I did. Hey, there you go! Finally, a game that's not shit. I mean, the rest of this... Isn't that that beat em up that's about like animal conservationism and shit? Anyway, like there was Bust a Move, and there was like only one other game in that list that looked like anything that I would give my time to. Hmm. I don't know why there'd be a reason to save at all. Yeah. <laughs> that shit is funny. I used to be really, really, really good at these, but I haven't played them in a long time, and, and being like. like having a good sense of the angles. is pretty much the only part that matters. Sure. Uh -huh. Wait, there's not a... There's not a switch button? You're kidding.
That's not what I wanted. Yeah, that's that's a whole lot of fuck now. Yeah, I screwed me. That pattern that it gave me was ridiculously unfavorable from the start, though. So these, this era of arcade games, when you have to continue, it automatically gets easier. Oh, God damn it. This is a problem. Get shit on. God damn it, that's... I fucked myself. Yeah, GG. Oh well, anyways, like I said, I used to be... I used to be really, 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 really good at that. Uh, my, uh... Like, back on the PlayStation 1 days, I had uh, Buster Move 2 Arcade Edition, which is that series. Um, and I, I played that way too much. Like, no rational person would play that game as much as I did. <clears throat> Anyways, more driving. Outrun, 2006. Something, something. Car, something fast. You know. That old chestnut. I mean, I definitely do like certain racing games. Like, I, I'm really, I'm really weird when it comes to racing games. I mostly like them to be relatively comfortable. Not like easy necessarily, but like just. I don't know, comfy. Some racing games are comfy. Did that not load properly? I don't think that that loaded properly. Tetris Plus. I don't remember Tetris Plus. I mean, like, it definitely describes me in God Hand. I don't think... I don't think any... I'd be I'd be really curious if anybody ever has matched my 18,000 hours on any video game that's not an MMORPG. Cuz I'm sure that there's people that have hit 18,000 hours on MMOs. That's probably not even all that uncommon. But for like single player offline video games, I think that that's Pretty crazy.
Yay! Um. Sure. And by the way, that's that's somewhat misleading. This is definitely not in sixty frames per second. Sure, why not? I couldn't care less. Ah. Very easy, huh? That's a neat default. Save, okay, cool. Audio options, sure, why not? Done, let's go. Uh, I don't know, why not? Try to impress Clarissa. Nah, I'm good. I don't care about her one bit. So those are basically the same. So I, a choice between black car and not black car. <laughs> I recognize this. Okay, you guys have to remember that I I worked in uh, an arcade with super fucking old games in it, and we had Outrun, and we had a, we had two different Outrun games. You know what? I want to go with the one that I recognize the most. Even though I'm, I'm not a fan of that name. Get ready. We're going now! Oh wow, that handling is a little bit much. I played both of the games that we had in the arcade, but I don't remember if it was just strictly Outrun 1 and 2. Yeah, this overhandles a bit. Checkpoint. I'd love to read that, but you shouldn't read texts while driving. Especially at like 200 and what, 70 kilometers per hour. You shouldn't even read the texts while driving. Do not interact with phone. Oh no, yeah, like old school, 
old school outruns are super fucking whack. <laughs> they're they're la- they're lame. They're boring. They're really stupid. Uh, I don't understand why anybody liked them, but the concept's not bad. It's just that like racing games in that format back then weren't something that you could really do very well. Have a good one, Andrea. Sleep well. I'm sure it's go to bed o'clock over there. Race for the top position. There's a wall there. So, earlier when I let off of the accelerator at all, it was like Drift Town. This time it didn't drift at all. There we go. That was pretty saucy. Rank triple A. Oh no. <laughs> that was my rank, I see. Not really. It feels fast, but it doesn't feel nearly as fast as they act like it is. Race for the top position. This has not gone well. Please stop drifting. I did all the normal things that you would do to stop drifting, and it kept drifting. How dare you besmirch the uh, the indicators on my very clearly highly scientific video game?
face. Yeah, I don't know, man. Scale, it's a thing. All right, I don't know. Game's fine. It's just not uh, not keeping me. There's nothing like particularly wrong with it, but uh, I don't feel compelled to continue. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But like uh, Technique was alluding to is that it, it's definitely for a certain kind of person, I think, and I'm evidently not that kind of person. But, I mean, as much as I like the Koro Q games, I would say the same thing is true about that. Like, as racing games, those don't have the same kind of feeling that, like, you know, that other racers, like Need for Speed, for instance, would, would give. Those, those same feelings aren't present. But Koro Q offers different things, like cartoony racing physics that involve, like, putting non-realistic things on your vehicle, like propellers or airplane wings and shit. Plus, well, like, some people want their racing games to feel, like, you know, full adrenaline, pedal to the metal, whereas I like racing games to feel comfy. <laughs> Completely different... Oh, God, I've got so much fucking Tomb Raider here. Completely different desires for, you know, what we want out of racing games. Which is fine. It's not a big deal. You also got the people that vibe way too hard with, like, Mar uh, Mario Kart, which I hate. I think especially in, like, a multiplayer racing experience, if I win or lose, it should be entirely down to because I drove good or I didn't drove good. And, um... If I, if I drove bad, I don't want good RNG on the power-ups to make me win. And if I drove really fucking good, I really don't want another player's really good RNG to screw me. That's dumb. That's why I, I, I much prefer, and I would love, by the way, ugh, I would fucking love if they would make a modern, like, either, like, even just a remake of Diddy Kong Racing would be badass. If they straight up made a new one, that would be all the better. Because, like, that's, like, the same format of something like Mario Kart, but the power-ups aren't random. What you get or what you don't get is up to how you play. Which is how it should be. I think we're in a an era where most of the games have some widescreen going on. Explorer, Adventurer, Tomb Raider. I see. As is tradition, we go with whatever the default was. See, I really like the uh, the Tomb Raider reboot. I don't. I did not care at all for the original games. Um, I think the last one that we tried was Tomb Raider Underworld or something. I think, like, from from what I hear, it gets worse in this regard, but the one complaint... 
The one complaint that I really had about the reboot was that it's really dumb to find, like, modern weapon upgrades in random bits of tomb. But apparently, in later games, you essentially make modern weapon upgrades out of, like, bits of deer and, 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 and other things like that. So, eh. You didn't like anything else? I like pistols. I like when, when when a video game gives you the ability to make pistols, just basic silence pistol, into a really good viable option. I don't know why. That always feels really stylish to me. But bow is a pretty good thing as well. But I like I I like in terms of like how like the ease of gameplay but also dislike in terms of lack of realisticness how the bow and arrow in at least the first uh reboot game is an instant traveling projectile as though it were a bullet Why are you still standing next to the cliff, Lara? Don't do that. I kicked a rock. I am not sure what it wants for me now. I sincerely dislike Uncharted, but it's, like, there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, I don't think the characters are all that, like, compelling. They're not bad, but I, I don't find them to be a huge reason to give a shit like other people seem to. Um, but, like... The way that the gameplay handles pisses me off kind of a lot. I don't know where the hell this wants me to go. Like right off the gate, right, right off the bat, where the fuck does it want me to go? Um, but yeah, mostly, like, like one of the biggest things that always piss me off about it, right, is it's a, it's just a generic piece-of-shit cover shooter, right? But let's say that I'm okay with that fact. I'm like, all right, generic-ass cover shooter, let's go. Um, I really, 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 really fucking hate that when you come out of cover, you're aiming in a randomized location. What I mean is, like, let's say that I'm focusing on a bit of that rock right there, and then it's like, oh no, I have to duck down and cover, and then, even though I haven't moved, I will come up over here. Nowhere near where, where I was fucking aiming. Not, not even close. So I can't, like, you know, aim at this guy and be like, oh no, I'm about to get shot, and then duck down and immediately go back to him. No, no, I have to re-manually aim every time I come out of cover. It's fucking lame. So you get to a point to where instead of doing all that, you're just kind of like rushing through and like hoping that the soft lock uh, helps out. And sometimes it does. Later on with like the not, like I don't even remember what they were called, but the like little demonic little bastards towards the end, the soft targeting was way hella better than trying to do anything 
uh, manually, but that game controls like ass. I mean, yeah, dude, like, that's just, that's such a knockoff uh, of just, like, it's not, it's it's like a third-rate Indiana Jones. It's not even as good as that. It's like dollar store Indiana Jones. Am I supposed to swim? I legitimately, I don't know where the fuck it wants me to go. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that that was fantastic. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? There we go. God. It still works, if that's what you're wondering. Cool. They said it was waterproof. You should be able to swim with it. Let's be clear. Indiana Jones isn't great either. But like, you know, it's a it's a knockoff of a knockoff. <clears throat> yeah, but like what style? I will okay, I will give it this. When they did like wide shots in environments like like say at, like pretty early in the first game right where the down plane was in that i guess that was a river or maybe the side of a lake i don't really remember that i just remember like when they did the wide shot showing the overall environment it was really pretty the voiceovers are actually quite good and like it didn't lack in visual detail but i don't remember the visual detail being particularly like i don't remember it being astounding either um outside of the big giant wide shots but they were doing the wide shots to get that ooh ah kind of thing it's just i don't know like when you when you can feel that they're trying to invoke a certain feeling, to me it makes it less likely to invoke that feeling. Look away from the screen then. But but I can see. I don't need a light. I'm fine. We're fine. Don't worry about it. That feel when I when after I I finally figure out where to go, it's like, did you know that you can turn on a light? Careful. It'll help you find where to go. Just guessed. Oh, okay, cool. One thing that I can definitely appreciate about the reboots, though, is that, like, Laura looks like perpetually clean and like uninjured and like they're like there's no stress on her body and there's no like degradation of her clothes or equipment but in in the reboot bro it's pretty clear yeah the last of us is literally uncharted with zombies edition However, The Last of Us has a story I give a shit about, and, and Uncharted doesn't. <laughs> now, granted, I haven't played, like, Uncharted 2 or 3 or, like, any of them past the first one. But that's because, like, I loathed the, the first one. I hated it. So, I can't really imagine a scenario in which I'm like, man, I really just cannot wait to spend time... Oh, I think I know what's going on here. Is 
Yeah, I know exactly what's going on here. I don't need a cutscene. I already understand. Was there anything up here? No? Okay, cool. Uh, let go. I have not played the second game, so let's not discuss it. To be fair, there's a chance that I never will play the second game, because as of now, so far as I know, it's locked to PS4 and PS5, and uh, I hate the PS4. I hate it. Um, so if, if that's going to be my primary vehicle to play it, it's just not going to get played. Maybe at some point they bring it to PC, it gets played that way. I'm waiting for the first PC game to be, uh... Okay, whatever. Yeah, whatever, man, indeed. Um, I'm waiting for the first game to have a decent uh, price drop. Gross. So, um, your inputs on things like, like, that horizontal bar are, uh, based on the angle the camera is at. So, like, look, see, like, this is how, this is how you do this kind of shit correctly, right? So, I'm on, I'm on this ledge, right? So, let's say I'm looking at Laura from this angle. If I hold down and push X... It should always, regardless of what angle I'm looking at, should always be to jump off to uh, uh, off off of the ledge backwards. If I hold right, regardless of angle I'm looking at, it should always make her move to her right. Because when you do shit like this and make it camera angle dependent, let's say I'm trying to jump off, and instead I get a side jump or some shit instead. It's going to cause problems. You get arbitrary deaths that way. I don't recall hearing anything like negative about its sales on PC. I couldn't even really see where I was trying to uh to land. Can't jump on the first swing either, seems like. Okay, that's an okay idea, but given that that's context-sensitive in some ways, it's gonna probably fail sometimes and lead to more arbitrary deaths. Man, isn't it cool how there's always some, like, like, doomsday organization or group of Nazi fucks that are just always at the ruins the same time you are? Man, what luck. So this isn't that bad, honestly, for a Tomb Raider game, but 
this style of Tomb Raider is still not really my thing. Um, nice aim, I guess. What in the hell? Okay. Nice. Oh, so you can only carry one gun that isn't your pistols. I see. Alright, have a good one. That sounded permanent. <laughs> that, uh, uh, okay, admittedly, that was a pretty good response. Alright man, take care. Enjoy dinner and all that. Anyway, so let's see. We probably have maybe another hour and a half. So let's let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's uh, Hummer Badlands. Uh, sounds like it's going to be a game about Hummers, which is uh, already not a good thing. Oops. Incorrect. Get out of here. Jaws. Oh, you were checking out the the spreadsheet. It definitely won't be within 10 minutes. I would say probably 25 to 30, if I were to guess. But that depends on how much the uh, games coming up suck and how much how distracting they are. Hummer Badlands. Also this shit. No telling how much time will get chewed up by just shit not working. I would say that there's a very, very, very high likelihood that that Jaws Unleashed game is going to last just a few minutes anyway. There's a good chance you'll just miss it altogether. <clears throat> so I see an actual Hummer, and I see things that say H2, H3, oh, GM, ha <laughs> What am I watching? YouTube.
This still does not want to load. We will try again. You're welcome. Glad to be of help. Another mystery solved by Xana, the world's greatest detective. All right, this is going to be our last attempt at trying to get this to load. Not that I have any real desire to play it based on the content that it is. But it is, it, you know, it is part of the process, so let's... What the hell? You tech... Tick, nicks, whatever. Welcome back. I trust that everything is okay, otherwise you would not have returned. Yeah, I don't know. Game doesn't want to load, but I wasn't really looking forward to it anyway. All right, so the next game up is Snow Cross 2 featuring Blair Morgan. Anytime that I see a video game that's, like, featuring random athlete, I think, eh, this is going to suck, isn't it? It's also going to be filled with, like, fucking licensed music. Hmm. That's a good sign. We did not even want to have a proper loading splash screen, so instead, here's a tiny little card. For a second, I thought this one was also not going to load, and like, man. I guess it really wants me to like, move along, get done with this backlog shit already. Oh wait, I don't think that that saved. It did not. There's no reason to like save game that shit. Un so this is just a racing game? Yeah, sure, I don't care. That guy. My all time record is 20 minutes. Man. I preemptively raced this and got 20 minutes even. Hey, here's a flyby of all of this uh, nondescript snow. Ah! Okay, this doesn't sound like licensed music. Watch me be wrong. Wow, this handles like axe. This is the first snowmobile uh, racing game that we've played where it just doesn't handle worth the shit. Okay, 
I'm not sure that this is necessarily better than licensed music. This is like some Newgrounds at, uh... You are correct. My content is free. But at some point or another, I actually paid for this game, so that's a shame. Here's the thing. This sucks a bunch, and we don't have to finish this race, so I'm not gonna. Moving on. The next game is called Rogue Trooper, but if it's, like, the last thing that we played that started with the word rogue ended up being about, like, real-world war scenarios. And, um, I don't play those anymore. Like, I don't know. I, like... Given what's happening in the world right now, playing video games about war seems extremely tasteless. But at the same time, looking back, was it ever not tasteless to play a game that's based on, like, unimaginable amounts of human suffering? You know? Like, I don't know. I'm not sure it was ever particularly moral to just, like, oh, yeah game about war. I do not... Like, I feel like I, I... Like, I know that name, for sure. But I don't know why. I see. I don't see, but I do rec I like I said I do recognize the, the the name. It makes me wonder if I played it at some point. Also like even before the events that are going on right now, kind of had the same vibe with this war of mine. It's interesting cuz like I I was able to watch somebody play that game repeatedly and I didn't have any problem with it. But then when I started playing it myself, it felt very murky in my soul. I did not care for how it felt. So, okay. Since I told you earlier, uh, the settings could probably be accessed from here. Not true, apparently. <laughs> so yeah, just the select button. On OPL, it's uh, it's different. It's I think it's the triangle button. I, I could be wrong. That's a horrible sound. Please don't do that again. Well, there goes my bit rate. Propaganda Network, AKA Fox News. And OAN and Newsmax and well, in MSNBC, CNN, ABC. So pretty much all of our news, almost. I mean, some are worse than others, sure.
Ha. What? You want to hear something truly depressing, the Cosmic? Fox News is damn near, like, there is there is an equivalent of it almost everywhere on the planet. Like, name a country, there's probably an equivalent of it there. I heard something about Fox News Australia and Fox News, like, Norway the other day. It was just like, Jesus, that's so fucking sad. Um, so... The premise of this feels super gross, so we're not going to play it. While I believe you, it still feels pretty gross. Uh, let's see. So the next game up is The Da Vinci Code, I believe, based on the movie, not the book. Um, I mean, let's be real. Does anybody here think this is going to be a good game? <laughs> Nah, I, I doubt it. Welcome back, Yonderon. <laughs> no, my favorite, my favorite, like, disappointing game moment was when we brought up Constantine. And then it just showed us, like, a not-quite-correct CGI version of one of the early movie scenes... And then I, I mocked the idea that we were going to have to essentially play, like, controller DDR to do incantations to exercise that girl. And then immediately after that scene, it, it did that. <laughs> Not to exercise that girl, but it went right into, like, X, triangle, circle, triangle to, to fucking do some incantations. Like, oh, come on. Surely this game could have been different. Well, I don't care about that. Let's go. Like, see, Constantine, like, as a spellcaster in general, could be a really cool thing. Like, it could be, like, a, a mixture of third-person shooter and, like, melee combat and, like, just popping off with the gadgets that he had in in the movie like I'm sure that there's more like it and maybe there is a little bit of that somewhere in that game but having to do like a QTE shuffle to to do the incantations is just it was so lame Was that audio supposed to be out of sync? Oh no, a Fibonacci sequence. All hell's gonna break loose now. Oh man, 10 saved games. Just in case you and your nine friends all wanna play. The highly shareable Da Vinci Code video game. Wait. What? Okay. So, um, I'll be honest, I don't remember shit about what happens in this movie. 
something something Vatican something symbols something history blah blah whatever I don't know Oh man, God Hand! This is not where I expected to encounter Gene. Not shown here. So nearly blew away. You should not have run, Monsieur Soyer. Now, tell me where it is. Please. I beg you. Where is it? All right, all right. The bars were not defense. I believe you. The others told me the same. Okay. You saw the photograph, so this should be of no surprise. Feel free to examine the body, Mr. Langdon. The position of his feet reinforces the reference to the pentacle and the sacred feminine. I beg your pardon? Replication. Repeating a symbol is the simplest way to strengthen its meaning. Jacques Sonnier positioned himself in the shape of a five-pointed star. <laughs> Interesting analysis. He stripped himself naked, folded his clothes, <clears throat> and put them away from himself? <clears throat> pardon? It's rather meticulous for a dying man. I think he was trying to show us that everything he did had a purpose. That is Even an... His nudity may have meaning. That is a hell of a stretch you, you, you made there, buddy. It's a pentacle. One of the oldest symbols on Earth. Used over 4,000 years before Christ. Devil worship. No, the pentacle is a pre-Christian symbol that relates to nature worship. The ancients envisioned their world in two halves, masculine and feminine. This pentacle is representative of the female half of all things, a concept religious historians call the sacred feminine or divine goddess. Sonnier of all people would know this. Sonnier drew a goddess symbol on his stomach? Interesting. Uh, what do you think about the use of his own blood as ink? Obviously, he had nothing else to write with. Actually, I believe he used blood such that the police would follow certain forensic procedures. I'm sorry? Look at his left hand. He's clutching a large felt-tip marker. It smells like alcohol. 
Sonia was holding it when we found him. As I told you, we have touched nothing. Are you familiar with this kind of light? As you may know, police use black light illumination to search crime scenes for blood and other forensic evidence. So you can imagine our surprise. What the hell does this mean? That, monsieur, is precisely the question you are here to answer. Part of it looks like a numeric cipher. Yes, our cryptographers are already working on it. We believe these numbers may be the key to who killed him, uh, but the text appears to be an accusation of some sort. Uh, wouldn't you agree? An accusation against his murder makes sense, I suppose. Sonnier was a Frenchman. He lived in Paris. And yet he chose to write this message... In English? Precisement, Monsieur Langdon. I have seen a lot of death in my work, and let me tell you something. When a man is murdered by another man, I do not believe his final thoughts are to write an obscure, spiritual statement that no one will understand. I believe he is thinking of one thing only. La vengeance. I believe Sonnier wrote this note to tell us to kill But that makes no sense whatsoever. You told me Sonnier was attacked by someone he had apparently invited in. Considering the circumstances, I would assume that if Sonnier wanted to tell you who killed him, he would have written down somebody's name. Precise more, precise more. Capitaine. Oh, one moment, please. Oui. Unacceptable, I made it very clear. Captain, please excuse the interruption, but... Ce n'est pas le moment. I have deciphered the numeric code, but before I explain, I have an urgent message for Mr. Langdon. For Mr. Langdon? The U.S. Embassy asks that you phone in as soon as possible. While I explain the code to Captain Fash, you need to make this call. Thank you. Where can I find a phone? This line is secure. You may use it. This uh, sure is taking a fucking while. I'm sorry, Miss Navu. I think you may have given me the wrong. No, that is the right number. It's the three digit code on the paper I gave you. But. The embassy has an automated message system. You have to dial an access code to pick up your messages. She me the that Are you fucking serious? Our next gameplay is the less the next bit of gameplay is look at a card and dial a phone number to make a totally mundane phone call. You know what? <clears throat> I think we can move it along. I know, I know, it's very exciting to move it along. Anyways. And if Yonderheim is still here, it's time for Jaws Unleashed. I mean, realistically, uh, it's time for that whether Yonderheim is still here or not. But that's what they were waiting for. Oh man. I would expect nothing, nothing different from something Jaws related. Jaws is one of those movies that, like, I know that once upon a time it was really, really popular. And I do not understand that. <laughs> I don't get it whatsoever. Like, I'm not trying to talk shit about the people that did like it. I'm just saying, I don't understand you. I don't get it.
You played this game to complete Jesus. Oh no. I knew it! The least this game could do is be pretty. I said with the severed leg on the right. I see a hand. It's probably also a severed hand. Welcome to Amity Island. This year promises to be better than ever. Seal Island continues to well, be this cutscene looks like shit in widescreen. There's a recent increase in its population. And new partnerships with corporations such as Environ Plus will allow us to open our doors to even more visitors. Wasn't this a Spielberg movie? Oh my god. Delicious. I chewed a fish. So remember what I've said about like not I like I don't enjoy playing a video game where I'm the asshole? Kinda hard to say that I'm not the asshole here. Anyways. You've been propagandized against sharks, sir. Valkyria, Valkyrie profile to Selmeria. Oh, man. You ever get the notion that, like, the fancier a game name gets that, like, it, it makes it more likely that there's, like, no creativity within it? Uh, 
I dislike the term weeb. It so heavily implies that there's something deeply wrong with taking interest in other cultures. I like how it immediately asked if I was going to be in widescreen or not. That's, that is a good feature. Un, unsurprising that this is Squeenix. Also, it's it's really weird. <laughs> it's also really weird to me that like, like weeaboo, like the etymology of it is is racist. I'm not I'm not attributing that to you, but the etymology of the term is is very definitely racist. But getting past that, isn't it a bit weird that we do not have similar words for other cultures, like? a way to mock somebody for being into, say, Korean culture, or Kenyan culture, or Scandinavian culture, German culture. We don't have... We don't have, um, discriminatory terms for that. It's just... weird. Yeah, yeah, you could just... you could go on for days. We don't have one for those other things. I, you know, I, I also was curious about the word anti-Semitic for that same thing, but it turns out, because see, for, for a longest time I was wondering why we have a, a term for being racist against one specific group of people rather than just keeping that under the umbrella of racism. And it's because it has nothing to do with race. Apparently anti-Semitism, like, a Semite is someone who speaks one of a group of languages, apparently. And so, anti-Semitism is, is hatred of groups that speak those languages. Burrito boo. <laughs> Bruh. Or at least that's, that's what my research turned up, which is interesting. You'll disobey Odin to your last breath. So be it. This looks like the room that you fight Ornstein and Smogan, doesn't it? Right, that's why Star Ocean is on my no-no list, because Ubisoft is involved. When you said that, I was sitting here thinking, I know, I know that I remember that I'm, that I'm not supportive of Star Ocean, and I could not remember why. Sometimes it's good to have a quick refresher, a reason to double-check. Uh, till the end of time, but like the the issue is that see, like the way that I see it is if is if I support one of the games in the series, then it it by proxy sort of kind of supports the rest of the games in the series. In which case, it supports Ubisoft. I have the same issue with like supporting early Crash Bandicoot and Spyro for the same reason because it will when people look at that. Like, let's say that I got like some kind of fame or notoriety if i'm yeah exactly if i'm if i'm a uh, you know doing something that brings positive attention to something like especially like the original spyro right what's more what's more likely if someone's watching that and be like man spyro looks fun what's more likely that they're going to seek out the original or that they're going to buy the activision owned version they're going to get reignited, and that's going to support Activision. So, 
that's the way that my thinking goes for that kind of thing. Again, for, for anyone here, I don't... I, I'm not, like, using that as a cudgel to judge others for playing the games that you want to play. Play the games that you want to play. That's, that's totally your thing. This is just how I handle myself. Semi-auto versus manual. Sure, I don't know. Those are the defaults. I just wanted to turn off the fucking vibration. So we went from a cutscene, and now we're here in a cutscene. By the way, I really liked in that previous cutscene where the, like, the title card dropped while we were on... like The photograph behind it was a, this really cool-ass spider web that I saw that had like little bits of like morning dew on it. And then when it changed scenes, like almost at the exact moment that it changed scenes, my background switched to a different photo. <laughs> yeah, and it's interesting that people like people see it's it's weird. People seem to understand the the relationship between author and publisher when it comes to books where like I write a book but I have to bring it to a company that puts it out into the world. And in most of those cases that like that relationship is going to be very predatory i.e. it's going to be very in favor of the publisher and not so much in favor of the author. I don't understand why why people don't get that when it comes to video games. So like when you have a company that makes like let's say like Gearbox makes, you know, Borderlands and then Take-Two Interactive publishes it Take Two Interactive is going to see the lion's share of that, uh, of that profit, and like when when people separate that, like oh oh the the bad company only published it, it's fine. No no no, that's like the exact reason it's not fine. I mean it. It depends. Sometimes, sometimes there's legal chicanery that that is involved. Like Ubisoft, I think is. I think that their headquarters is is in France? Question mark. I'm, I'm probably super fucking wrong. Um. No, I'm right. It is definitely in France. So since since they're headquarters is in a, a, the region, they've already got like the legals of publishing in that region figured out, right? So, if you're trying to get your game published in a region where your legal team doesn't have an expertise, you might outsource it to a company that does. Yeah, there's reasons that kind of shit could happen. For sure, for sure. So this game looks pretty so far. I could give it that. short journey across the sea from where we are that's why we're here to go to Japan what you must return home we have to hmm. tell the king to prepare for war immediately war the gods will launch an attack on take Japan two is um to lure us out. <sighs> problematic but not like I would say that Take Two's misdeeds are not enough to make me write them off entirely as of yet. Like their behavior is just like bully level. It's stupid rather than criminal. How could you say that now? What did we leave the castle for? 
I thought it was to run away. Where? So this lady is having a serious schizophrenia moment. Someplace far. Naive. Really? I did not know that. She'll kill you just to summon my spirit back to Valhalla. Just because you're also a Valkyrie? Yes. It is forbidden for two Valkyries to exist upon Midgard at the same time. Hmm. And I have several Einherjar with me. Odin would like them transferred. <laughs> Damn. Even though I exist only as thoughts in your soul, I am violating the laws of the gods. Remember, we are in danger. I know already. We need to prepare ourselves before heading to Japan. We might have fighting ahead of us. But I can't fight. I told you before, it's way beyond me. Then we'd better find companions who can. Who? Don't worry about it. Just do as I say for a while. I, uh, have had no control of anything since this started. Oh. Is it time? No. So, I have never explicitly stated this rule, but if this hits 15 minutes and I still have not controlled the game, we're done. There are no plans to resume service. Give me a break. You mean there are no other ships? No means no. This is the work of Christ. So, what should we do? She may be lurking nearby. First things first. We have to get out of here. Should we wait somewhere until they start sailing again? We don't have time. We'll use the underground path. What underground path? Hold on. Talk to the man over there and ask him to come with us. The man over there. Who else could I be talking about? That guy right there. Why him? Ask me later. Just go. I can't. Just go and ask him. Huh? Yeah, um, the other Shining series games were... Horrible trash, and I had no confidence in that one. If you wouldn't mind coming with me, why me? Forgive me. I did not introduce myself. I am Alicia, Princess of the Kingdom of Japan. Wow, this uh, lip sync is. I am concealing my identity for a reason. Very, very bad. Japan immediately. I am in need of an escort. Sixty seconds. Seeing you unfazed by the commotion, I could tell you were a man of great caliber. Of course, you will be adequately compensated. Will you accompany me? The next one was like a top-down, like, 45-degree angle, generic combat kind of thing. It was kind of gauntlet-ish. The rest should be easy. Don't tell him more than he needs to know. Yeah.
Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> oh what this is a 2d thing i got no like this is not a 3d control scheme what the hell is this Head inward. I just want to know what the gameplay looks like, guys. Yes, show me what the gameplay looks like. I'll guide you to the Royal Underground Path. Royal? <sighs> in Japan, Royal? Funny that I, an outsider, should be telling you about it, Princess. Head to the forest. An entrance to the Underground Path lies deep within. Hey, who are you talking to? Hmm? Oh, nobody. Just curious, but you said you're the princess of Japan, right? What brings Her Majesty out here all alone? And where have you been all this time? They say the only daughter of King Barbarossa died some years ago. What about you? Where have you been? What do you intend to do in Japan? Uh. Come to think of it, you haven't even told me your name. The name's Rufus. <laughs> A pleasure to meet you, Sir Rufus. Yay, we're going to the Lost Forest. What is this map? Got some fatal frame looking bitch. We got company. Don't panic. I can use my power here. Hey, what did you do? I hit the monster with sacred light. It's imprisoned in a crystal, temporarily. Sacred light, huh? Curious? Yeah. I absorb energy flowing from the roots of the world tree, Yggdrasil, and convert it to light. That's some power. I guess you're not exactly your average princess. What's wrong? Looks like we'll need to fight it to purify it. Oh, yeah. That worked real well. Weren't you listening? I said temporarily. <sighs> sure, why the fuck not? Um... So... About that. <laughs> Isn't that great? 
That's fan fucking tastic. Well, we're definitely not fecking around with that anymore. What, you want to know more about her schizophrenia? Anyways, the next game up is Micro Machines V4. So there was a, another Micro Machines game on the PlayStation 2. And, like, so here's the funny thing. The first Micro Machines game on PlayStation 2 was legitimately, like, 4 gigs. This one is, like, I don't know... 512 megs or some shit. It's way, 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 way smaller. And it's like five years after the previous game. So I don't know what in the hell happened. But like, why? Anyways, um, I expect crap. It's probably crap. 640. This is quiet. That's fine. Uh, because of the multi-chat apparatus that I use, I wouldn't be able to see it as a spinning thing anyway. It's real unfortunate. Like, Andrea, every time he shows up, he does that little dancing dinosaur emoji. E emote, whatever the hell it's called. Um, and I only see the first frame of it, so it's just a dinosaur. It's not doing anything, it's just standing there being a dinosaur. There you go, that dinosaur, it's just sitting there. Oh god damn it. I find it, it's, like, interesting to me that <clears throat> he's never pointed it out. Like, he always uses it, but he never, he's never said, wait, why isn't it moving? It did on that other multi-chat program that I was using, but that one, like, killed Twitch compatibility because it kept breaking, and I guess the dev got sick of trying to fix it. Which, you know, utterly, like... 100% neutered it of any kind of usefulness I would have had for it, so I got rid of that one really quick. Like, that program was utterly pointless to me if it doesn't have that functionality, so... Hey, that's rude. I won because he fell too far behind. Those machines be micro, son. Later, buddy.
That did me an owie. I still won. I won vehicles. There was another game that played exactly like this that, well, wasn't on a pool table. Yeah, there's nothing wrong. Really, there's it's 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 not worth looking at, really. It's just there. Yeah, that maybe that sounds that sounds correct anyway. Um. Why do you know my backlogged stuff better than me? That's not okay. Stop it. You're freaking me out. Why did that game even have fucking widescreen? <laughs> oh, God. I mean, that game wasn't terrible, but, like, it's a bit, it's a bit bland. There's just not much of anything really to it. I think, you know, like, honestly, there's a pretty decent number of games that we've gone through doing this that's basically that. Like, there's, it, like, it's, you know, it's a decent game, there's nothing wrong with it, I just don't care about it. The Vanacor Conspiracy. Whatever the hell that means. Anyway, so how was dinner? Natsume? Uh-oh. That's a, that's a brand I'm familiar with. Take a quick peek and see if, um... If Viv has messaged me, she has not. She's got a vehicle in her bay that actually needs quite a bit of work, so it's possible she won't show up at, uh, at the time that she normally would on Saturdays. What a good boy! Today's treatments all hmm. the nut balls for a well deserved rest until I find the final solution. Yeah, today was the first time that Viv and I actually, um, like, got fast food of any kind. Like, we're, we're trying to, uh, that's awful looking, by the way. We're trying to more or less, like, like, convert our food habits to all raw ingredients and, like, making all of our shit, uh, ourselves. Um... Turns out that that involves quite a few kitchen gadgets. You're a real sweetheart. It's all the kinds of people wanted. <laughs> you crack me up. I think you'd accept. I got stuff like teleporting you in. See you guys later. Yeah, the anticipation is killing me. Oh god. What's next? Morning, team, That's what I needed in my life, a cat with tits. But I guess at least it's not a bat with tits. Looking at you, Rouge. Quality time if you survive the mission. 
successfully is taking you to end up crash site of one of the three banner corps I don't like that our our method of seeing that that this guy is talking is just a wiggling cigar on his face Watch us end up being more like Jet Force Gemini than like Ratchet and Clank, but it probably will be more like Ratchet and Clank. I'm with you on that one. That's that's almost certainly what the goal was. Hi, Rob. I'll take a look around. Or maybe not even that. Hi. Uh, okay. Well done, Rob. That's a natural born pig lot you got there. So pick the pooch up or get it to follow you over to the teleport area. You probably remember, but you earn tickles and tokens for each one of those pig lots you teleport. Tokens increase your experience points and boost you up the rank. So get on with it. Approach the pig lot and press circle to pick it up. Take the pig lot that is a very, up. very, very slow pickup. Well done. You get tickles and tokens each time you do it. We, we just discussed that. This movement's pretty slow. What's the deal with this shit? Can I punch it? I can punch it! Punching is my favorite thing to do. Everything appears to be breakable with punches. Use it as a punch bag. Press square once to hit. Very good. Now press square, square, and great. Finally press. Good job, Ruff. Now you can go on. Press X and square at the same time. Good. Now press X and circle. Not too bad. Bro, that's an awkward input. Press X and square to strike a smash punch. Excellent. So you're not so rusty. Press X when running to jump ahead. Press X twice to jump, jump. Oh, wiping my eye, man, and completely 100% thought that there was just a, a fucking hallway in front of me. Instead, you know, lava, fall to your death. Good stuff. What the hell? Kill all the spiders to go on. Job. Not bad in hand to hand. Yeah, definitely not even vaguely ratchet and clank. This sound means you're in a checkpoint area. No idea what in the hell all of this is about. Nice, okay. Enough tokens. You've increased your rank. 
Hank to rookie. Check for new stuff at the K store. New stuff at the store. Nah. Movement's pretty slow. Um It's like it can like the controls and the way that it like reacts to, to inputs is inoffensive, but like unexciting. <sighs> Fucking hell, mate. Alright, so this isn't gonna last long. I promise. I can't I can't imagine how it would. Actually, there was a PlayStation 2 game called Monopoly Party that was extremely bizarre. It's like everybody, like, everybody goes at the same time. It's very strange. It was a hell of a lot faster, though. I didn't hate it. Um, but it is still a monopoly, so I'm not going to go back to it. Mere mortals. Twenty classics from around the world. Aside from like chess and checkers, like Quattro, so Connect Four, that's not a board game. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, I never really understood. Oh, hey, you know what? Reversi, otherwise known as Othello, I'm. It used to be like actually relatively decent at this, so sure. I don't know what this environment, like. I don't know what that has to do with anything. It's not going to change how the game plays. Can we, uh... There we go. So, like, the goal is to get the, the corner access as soon as you possibly can. And being ahead right now doesn't mean diddly shit. But you want to maintain the walls and get that corner. That's what it's all about. Wow, you fucked up real bad. So if I do this, there's, yeah, there's nothing in that line. That would set up to a pretty easy overtake in that corner, though. <sighs> yeah, that's really the only smart thing to do at that point. What an awful fucking decision.
I don't... Okay, hold on. No, yeah, that's completely... Yeah, there was nowhere left for them to go. So yeah, like some of your some of your decisions are about number of pieces, but like a, a lot of the time you see someone will approach this game and, and and think it entirely in that function is how many pieces can I take in this turn? And think they'll they'll look at it like a purely numbers game and it's not that. Um it's it's mostly about like see like right now yeah I'm taking as as many numbers as I can, but really it's a lot more about controlling like what moves are available. By the way, I have fucked up big and the CPU player has not picked up on it. There you go. We'll see if I can recover that, though. It's always a possibility. Yeah, that is what how you want to leverage a corner grab is to to make it where it's very very difficult or near impossible for the other player to make moves without revealing the other corners. So like right now that I really don't have any moves available that don't reveal a corner. However, this gives me a corner. So Improvements have taken place. Yeah. Ooh, shit. We'll do one more. I need to be more aware of where I'm putting things. This looks like it's following the same pattern as it did the first game. Go, I was always terrible at go. That could have been it. Yeah, that's actually a really, really, really bad decision I just made.
Yeah, that was the correct thing to do. Now this corner is all but, like, certain to be in white hands soon. Um, hmm... So, like, yeah, I don't think that there's anything I can do to prevent it. Um, there's nowhere else for me to put anything. Why would you do that? That was a terrible, terrible decision. Wait, is this... Hold on, is this, is this like, ending the game when either player can't make a move? Because that's... Not how this would go. So, like, this game ends, like, it, like, okay, so on this turn, I can't make a move. But that would just mean that we skip my turn, and it's White's turn again. So this isn't being played correctly. Unless, I mean, so this is reverse -y. I'm used to Othello, which is essentially the same game. So maybe that's, maybe that's a distinguishing factor between Othello and reverse -y. I don't know. Anyways, do I want to save data for, for what? Parcheesi, dice, dominoes, go. Yeah, I don't, I don't know shit about go. Word cubes, Chinese checkers, anagrams, concentration, tic-tac-toe. I had a, uh... A strategy that worked in this game really 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 well against people so I'm gonna see like if I can remember how to do it I'm gonna see if it works as well against uh, a CPU Maps, bruh. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this strategy, dude. But it's just like, it's so fucking guaranteed to force an error eventually. This could go on for a bit. Mm -hmm. 
Anyway. It's alright. I, I think if that were Othello instead of Reversi, uh, again, provided that that is a legitimate rule difference between those two things, then I'd probably I'd probably play it just for that. I'd just fuck around with it to play Othello from time to time. But um, there was like a, an app that I used to use on mobile to play it, but like for whatever reason, that app crashes a lot. pretty fucking annoying anyway so the next game up is reservoir dogs um isn't this based on like a movie or something i tried to join the navy um kind of a while ago at this point shit i don't even remember how long ago um and while I was at MEPS, I was, like, cracking jokes and, like, raising morale, I guess you would say, amongst the other potential recruits. There were some people that were, like, stressing hard on, like, everything that was going on. Like, there was this one dude in particular that, like, during the earring, t the hearing test? Earring. During the hearing test, they identified some hearing loss he had in his right ear, and for whatever reason, like, apparently it wasn't bad enough to disqualify him, but he was, like, super distraught that there was... Do not co uh, condone that type of language and the use thereof. <laughs> okay, so the last One Piece game that we played, I think it was the last one, was, um... Basically a, a Mario Party ripoff. <laughs> okay, I read that as Resident Evil 4, because I'm stupid. Mm. Um... We had a a potential recruit with us that very much looked like, you know, like the typical footballer kind of guy, muscly, tackly kind of guy. And um that dude was utterly incapable of the of the duck walk. No, I know what I know what it is. It's just like when I like we're here playing video games on a stream and I re I recently went through Resident Evil 4 on backlog. Got me some slack. <laughs> but um I always thought it was funny that the what the dude there that what everyone thought was the most physically fit couldn't do the duck walk at all. Was utterly incapable of it. It's my dream and nobody's gonna stop me. I'm gonna find one piece and then I'll be king of the pirates. Is that really what Luffy sounds like? I forgot that he sounds like such a dipshit.
What, you mean like separated over personal differences rather than having those differences be dealt with? What the fuck? Hooray, for once we have a game that does not have widescreen. Unfortunately, I left it on in anticipation. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, who, who voices this guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Something, something. Wow. One Piece plot. Yeah, she actually... Mm. I'm sorry, Erica, but this sucks. Stop talking. Okay, this is unlistenable. I cannot tolerate the audio that this game is making. Mostly because he keeps talking. Alright, so upcoming is Just Cause. Fun fact, I have never played a Just Cause game. But hold on, let's let me let me look at something real quick. Uh video game series. No, yeah, that seems fine. I have a friend that really likes it. Well, I mean, he he really likes certain entries in the series. Reasonable person has his complaints with it, but like overall enjoys it type of thing. It like from the sounds of it, it seems like one of those scenarios where, like, the draw to it is the sandbox of causing chaos kind of thing. Yo, guys, we've been streaming for over six hours. Hell yeah. Whole lot of IDOS on, uh, on PS2.
I think that that's correct, but we're working with the screen with no hard edges, so who fucking knows? Certainly, I don't. Literally every dev that has ever done this needs to be, like, punished. They need a good spanking. And the spanking implement should be that scorpion on the title. I am glad to be away from that sound. That quote unquote music was very, very repetitive. I'm really hoping it'll let me do the uh, screen position option, like, in-game where I can see some hard edges. All right, bye. So, I hit the start button and it has to load. Uh, wait, are you sh shitting me? I think, I think it's in the right position. Why is it? Why is it? Stop! Stop! Dude, there is some crazy shit happening on the bottom of, of happening on the bottom of my screen right now. Black.
I am trying to find the reload button. I can't, can't, oh, is, was that it? Found it. Please, there's still turret sections in games today, bruh. Wish that were not the case, but... Life is what it is. God, this frame rate sure is trash, bro. Okay, I guess don't focus on that guy at all. Cannot use vehicle. Where? Bro? Is the audio fucking backwards on this game? Okay, yeah, no. Nah. I, I am legitimately not sure if the uh, audio was backwards or not. Anyway, so I know that this next game has an arcade version, and honestly, if, if what we're about to play is the game I think it is, then... You know, it's it, it's basically uh, it's basically cruising world, but with the Fast and the Furious license just kind of slapped on it with no further thought. I doubt that it's that, but it could be. Boy, I have no fucking idea why, but I used to, like, deeply, deeply care about Cruising USA on the Nintendo 64. <laughs> you know, these days I look back on that and I'm like, why? Why did I give a shit? That is objectively not a good video game. Hiss.
Okay, so I have a game listed here that's called Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. I don't think that that's what we're dealing with here. We shall see. It's taking a second to save. By the way, to Cosmic, if you're still around, that is one thing that you're going to want to remember when you exit those uh, options. It's, uh, you, you press select to go in, you press select to go out, and there is a uh, very, very high chance that it's going to hang for a second when you do so to save the settings. Empty pixels on the left. My favorite. Whole lot of stuff about fucking car brands. I don't care. And it crashed again, I think. One last try! OPL, let's go. I gotta say, man, these backlog streams are tiring. I kind of wonder if I was just like stream fantasy star universe i kind of wonder how long those uh streams would last Now, the OPL compatibility list says that uh, future versions of OPL had a patch that fixes this game. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it do. Car brand, car brand, car brand, car brand. Car brand, other car brand, more car brand. <gasps> no. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> Serious doubt that this has anything to do with the arcade game I mentioned earlier. In fact, I'm going to say that there is near zero chance. Shut up, game. Can say arcade game does not have uh, licensed music on it, so far as I know. Anyway, wow. 
Empty pixels, both left and top now. Bruh. God damn it. Cool, and we get to go through a saving process every time that I try to fix this. I already hate this. It's not tall enough on either edge. What? There's empty area no matter what I do. Let's see how shit awful this gameplay is. And then let's fucking get out of here. What was that? What was the audio like that? Career mode. Let's make a career out of being a dipshit. No, yeah, absolutely zero to do with the arcade game. That's a shame. That would have been a better game. That's good. Gameplay, please. Dude, I'm barely breathing. I'm more just, like, yawning. Oh, hey, I should probably drive. <laughs> Later, buddy. All of that so we could experience that shit. Oh man! Okay, okay, so I'm not actually looking forward to this. However, however, I am looking forward to this being the last time. Let's do this. As I said earlier, we are not going to play this game. We are going to load it, we're going to point and laugh, and then we're gonna leave. It will be the final time that Romance of the Three Kingdoms curses my eyes. It. I forgot to do this. Whoops. Historical simulation series. Fucky McFuckwazzle. I felt a deep, deep temptation to just, like, close my eyes and try to nod off. Oh, 
So the last one actually had a, a pretty interesting, like, pre-render intro video as well. So this is not surprising, though I will say the first time that we saw an actual intro video on one of these, that was surprising. This one is at least like, you know, this is artistic and beautiful, and this is going to be the last part of the game that's, that's visually appealing. Really? Sure, that one. Why not? Oh, God. It was the year 184. The sun that had shone on the Han Dynasty for 400 years had finally begun to set. The greed and ambition of the eunuchs brought disarray to the imperial court and a string of natural disasters and harsh... The eunuchs? Stripped the people yeah, that's, that's the class of people that are out of control. Jesus. This instigated rioting among the people, setting off the largest peasant uprising in history, the Yellow Turban Rebellion. However, the chaos gave birth to many distinguished heroes across the land. Cao Cao aided in the suppression of the Yellow Turbans. Sun Jin was renowned for eradicating bandits. That sounds great until you find out how we decide who is and isn't a bandit. Single images. Yo, this map actually moves, like, at a frame rate worth looking at? Let's wait until I'm actually in control of it. I'm not in control of it. Yo, the map actually moves properly. Okay, this... Almost looks like a competent video game, and that's interesting. Because, like, that was the thing that this was where it fell apart last time. Was like literally any attempt to move the map made the frame rate slow to a crawl. So, to be fair, if I gave a shit about this, this would probably be playable. But. This was September 2006. This came out less than two weeks before God Hand. Anyway. Oh no, yeah, for sure. Definitely 100% not a, uh, not a controller game. So the next game up is B-Boy. I don't know what the hell this is. B-Boy. Is it Baller Boy, Bitch Boy, Basket Boy? Butt boy, barbecue boy, 
Boy Boy? Why would there be? It's Boy Boy. <laughs> Nobody wants to read about Bitch Boy. Ba boy, ba bomb boy. What the fuck? I'm not looking forward to this. In fact, I am anti looking forward to this.
Hmm. What the hell I expected. <laughs> Alright, let's do a little bit of memory card cleanup real quick. Four twenty eight from Jeff's cause, bruh. Hell of a uh, file graphic you've got here. <laughs> oh my god, four fifteen for that trash. She. Bruh. Yo, 25. See that? That makes sense. I'm down with that 25, 54. Okay, okay. 111 even? That's fine. That's relatively okay. What the god damn? What? Why? For what? Jesus, did they try to, like, download the entire game onto the memory card file? Bruh. <laughs> 24. Uh, that's, that's one of the low ones. 310. Uh, on that, eh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Back to video gaming. Was that the third one? I don't remember. It was okay. Dawn of Dreams was acceptable, but really still just not for me. Oh, actually, I don't have enough time to do this one. Ooh, which is fine, because I am worn out. Uh, we're actually going to call it here. Um, hmm. Holy shit, that guy's live? Yo, I know where I'm going to go watch. Um, I'm going to go hang out with Cassie. He's doing some Turok 3 Shadows of Oblivion speedruns. You have a good one. Oh my god. How come there's a Ferris wheel in the prison anyway? I hit steel mill used to build amusement box or something. I did not expect I did not expect to get that in there, dude. That was fucking crazy.